Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and I'm going to try this again. Yay. So uh yeah, sorry about what happened earlier, but uh I had to I had to close the stream. I got a call. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but uh right at the end of that stream like when I jumped into a standard match, I ended up running into uh a phone call from my dad and had to jump off. So, we back. And we are going to get this party started, and uh, this time, we're going to see it through. So let's get this party going, shall we? It's unlisted. That, that's, that's a thing. Whoopsie. You should probably make sure that people can see your stream, you big dum-dum. That usually helps. It usually helps if you actually make your stream public so that people can see it. All right, let's go. What we got? Uh, Yugimo, Musashi, and Lepanto. Fair enough. Oops. Hello again. Welcome back. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I had to take a phone call. Couldn't finish, or had to leave the stream. So I apologize for it ending so abruptly, but I didn't have a choice. So we back. Now, the good thing is, all those stream snipers probably gotta go to bed for school in the morning. So, maybe, maybe we'll get away with it. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's past their bedtime. Mom and Dad makes them go to bed. You know, that sort of thing. Hopefully. We gonna, we gonna get back out here. We gonna do this ranked. Right. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see everybody back. Yeah, I mean, everybody always says family first, and you're not wrong. I will never put the game or the stream over my family. My family will always come first. Um, it just... Hold that thought. Boy, that's some accuracy right there, boys. Two whole shells. Um, but anyway, uh, it's just an unfortunate... Unfortunate series of events today is all. Um, man, I had to had to take the call, so I just went ahead. Please don't get yeeted by torpedoes. Does that thing not have sonar? Like, how does he not have that guy? Oh, he's already dead. Never mind. I was like, how does he not have that guy spun? Alright. Let's go. No, no reason to dilly dally. We've done our thing here. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about the stream ending so soon earlier. Uh, I went ahead and uh, <clears throat> after after the phone call with Dad, I oh my God, I will murder your entire existence, you little turd. Uh, I went ahead and went to the uh, the gym and everything, and just like completely fresh to work out to feel better. And so yeah, we back. We we gotta knock this one out the park. Can this guy not get, like, caught to your RNG every time he shoots at me, please? I'd appreciate it. We know he's reversing, so we're gonna aim a little bit higher. He's opening up the angle. Dude, why can we not get any shells to hit the target and everybody else gets, like, laser beams every time they pull the trigger? Okay, that time he didn't hit that. 
Finally! That's what we need right there. More of that, please. These guys are just gonna ram. Fucking hell, do you people ever actually just play the game? Lord have mercy! <laughs> they just... It's like, I'll spawn in, drive forward, and die! Now it's just me and, uh... Scoop of Steve over here versus versus the uh, other guy. I mean, we've got the lead. We don't have to do anything crazy. We can just sit here and watch everything at this point. Lord have mercy, man. I swear nobody actually plays this game to play the game. And he just fired his gun, so we have nothing to fear here. That's a well-placed shot. They all fall short. Return of justice. That's awful. One shell to rule the ball. Lance Hyde hits the gun. <laughs> of course it does. Of course it does. Oh man, nobody can, nobody can beat my RNG. I swear to God, nobody. Still, lands too high. If he goes through my turret and, or goes through my cheek here and yeets me. Breaks the gun. Alright, just aim high. Get this fucking out of here. He doesn't deserve to be here. His gun turret with two shells. <laughs> God dang it! How is this man still alive? Okay, he gets the Citadel. On the, okay, you know what? Fair enough. Get the fuck out of my goddamn game! Do you see it again? Where the two shells that were touching went straight to the belt instead of going above it. Like, I'm telling you, man, nobody, nobody can beat my RNG. It is the worst. The worst. Swear. I have the worst RNG. It ain't even a fight. It is the worst RNG on the planet every time. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But welcome back, everybody. Sorry about the uh, the whole stream ending abruptly thing. Uh, had had to take the call. Couldn't couldn't stay on chat. So, uh, by the way, I ended up having a great game that Conqueror game. Unfortunately, uh, even after taking the phone call and, and getting all that dealt with, I went ahead and finished that game with the uh, Conqueror. Ended up with 160,000 damage and yeeted everybody on my side of the map. It was beautiful. Shame you guys didn't get to see it. But, uh, boys, I tell you, I, I don't think anybody can argue that I have the worst RNG in World of Warships Legends. I, I don't think anybody can argue it. I think, I think we can all agree. <laughs> I think we can all agree that it isn't even a, con a contest anymore. I have the worst RNG. But, uh, if you guys are excited to see me suffer and finish out ranked here. I mean, the worst part is, we've been winning, despite all of the freaking crap that's been going on we've been winning so like i can't even be upset it's just so much stuff today has just gone horribly like horribly horrifically <laughs> so like i don't know maybe that's the key to rank maybe you just go in get your butt kicked over and over again and you win i don't know how it works Your RNG is a million times worse than me. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. As many times as I leave people with just enough to get away, as many times as I pull the trigger on people that should die and just watch them just splash everywhere but where I aim, like, nah, nah. Nah, fam. I gotta respectfully disagree. Don't forget to punch that like button as well. If you uh, weren't expecting the stream to come back so soon, and now you're here. We got 103 people watching so thank you guys so much also can we just like i gotta i gotta mention not only not only was everything going horrifically but that just happened to be the most popular stream i've had in a long time and i had to end it abruptly like i'm not happy about that by the way it's not not a fun time are you, you are you actually like going for the destroyer or are you just gonna like sit around there because i kind of feel like the destroyer's on my side nope he's on the egg Okay. What is it? Hayate. Fair enough. But yeah, we had, a, like, what, a 340, 350 people watching that stream at the time when I had to end it? Let's see if you can help with the destroyer. Oh, 
my god. What is that RNG, man? <laughs> it's just, so I go, up, destroyer's here, he's aiming here. Let's make sure there's a gigantic bolt spot right where the fucking destroyer is. Thanks, kid. Oh, look, torpedoes. Shocker. Shocker. Oh, God. And then a plane spots me for no reason. Right as I'm coming around the corner. I was going to say, is he going to finish that turn? But I feel like that's a really poorly advised turn. But we get a couple more shots like that, though. That'd be nice. Our Sumner decided that uh, fighting the Hayate was against his religion. So he is now just sitting there doing nothing. Watching. Uh, this guy has chosen death if the game will let me have it. It's not the worst. It's all horizontal for the most part. <laughs> of course. He does more damage by shooting my fucking superstructure that's already saturated than I do shooting at his broadside. Well, that just checks out, doesn't it? Yeah, I saw that coming, Musashi. Try to... I'm worried about the torpedoes. That, that's the next thing. Because of our uh, Sumner and his infinite wisdom deciding that the uh, Hayate was not worth his time engaging, uh, he has left us to kind of get screwed over here. So I'm going to slow down. Plink, plink, plink. Slow down. Hope to God that the guy had already launched his torpedoes in front of me. Shoot the owl's ass. Watch the shells fall to the right. Oh, never mind. We destroyed a turret. I didn't think that was going to look as good as it ended up being. It looked like they were all landing over here. I don't know how those hit his turret. It's kind of like that citadel on that uh, main earlier by shooting over into a superstructure. All right, I think it's time to get moving forward. This guy is definitely going full broadside. Take that. Musashi's still just reversing. Dude, what is it about this man going broadside that I'm not allowed to touch him? How's he ever going to learn that going broadside is not indeed the, the best side? Like, good lord. There we go. Rear turret did more damage than the front two turrets combined. Lord have mercy. All right. Hayate, oh, see, here's the thing. I need to shoot Hayate here. I don't know what this Hayate's been doing, to be perfectly frank. I'm really praying to God that that, that Al's ass is continuing to be a dumb dumb. Because he can absolutely punish me here. One shell, oh my God. I, I, I can't, and he lit! How does he fucking lose the gun battle with the fucking IOT? He's in a Sumner, for God's sakes. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. All right, now, we need to be careful coming around this island. We know the Musashi's just sitting there waiting. How did he fuck that up? Lord have mercy. Where you at, you little turd? Where you at? Get to some Del for my chief. I don't get one for his. You know, because same, same, but different. I like how he just goes bow in like I don't know where to aim. Look at that. Two shells. It doesn't matter where I fucking aim. The game won't let me kill the motherfuckers. Like, I know that I can hit right here and Citadel him through either side of his cheek. Right? Like, I know that that's a thing. The game won't let me do it. <laughs> the game is like, no, you you get fucked. He will, he will hit you for 20k through the bow. You will do nothing of the sort. Like, I know. I just got to shoot right there. Look, again. Again. Same thing. 
fucking know where to aim. The game is like, no, <laughs> we know better than you. And now he's just begging to die. Surely the guy behind me can finish him with his guns. If he doesn't die here, I have nothing left. To see. Hey, little fucking tip. Next time, don't worry about torpedoing. If there's a Musashi frost in front of you, just shoot your guns. <laughs> uh, at least we didn't pull the trigger. Now he's dead there, so that's going to force me to come around the corner way over angle. We know that Captain Dingleberry's over here. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, Captain Dingleberry's nowhere to be found. I just, I need to, I need to just get this over with. This is crazy, man. I, I don't understand why my RNG is so bad. I don't know how somebody can just charge straight at you at point fucking blank and watch your shells go everywhere but their ship. Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, I'm aiming straight at the bow of a ship, off to the sides of the bow of a ship. I know where to aim. I've done it a million fucking times. I get broadside fucking targets. I can't fucking do any damage to them. Like, it's fucking insane. That was a better assault shot. But it, it's, it is actually insane. Like, I know where to aim on a fucking Musashi, right? Like, pe people will be like, well, Bert, you're just aiming at the wrong place. It's your fault that all the shells are completely missing at two kilometers. You just don't know how to lead the target, clearly. Hey, at least, at least the roof wreck just killed the entire lobby. He, he did all the work there. I didn't do anything. He got a triple kill. Look at that. Roof wrecked. Clearly the way to go. Shocker. Anyway, keep moving. I mean, you just can't make up the fucking terrible ass RNG that I'm having. Like, it doesn't even make sense. What up, Muse? You actually, you actually got the video of your Chevelle up? Alright. You want me to show it to the stream? I'll do it. I hope it has, <clears throat> I hope it has you in there going, Yeah, buddy, this is my, this is my hot rod. It's got 1,275 horse, uh, horse torques. <laughs> I will literally, I will literally show you Monty on, on stream. I ain't scared. This is my 1966 Chevelle SS Super Sport with a 700 cubic inch twin turbo forced induction running 69 pounds of boost. Giggity. <laughs> Giggity! Uh, yeah, Lapanto's a good ship for this too. As long as you don't get your fucking turrets knocked out every time somebody looks in your direction. Alright, what are you doing? Are you going to the right? Okay, you're going to the right. What are you doing? You, you, you going... You're in a Marco Polo. I can't rely on you to do anything. All right, we going straight ahead. I ain't scared. What's the worst that could happen? It's just a Frederick de Grosso Reap. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Apparently they're not asleep yet. Shocker. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, right? Just a fucking coincidence, again. Alright, so Heisen, right side. Everybody on their team going to the right. Main, don't do anything crazy. This is 
the one time I go to the left, and this is the one time their entire team goes to the right. Every other time we've played this map today, I've gone to the right, fought one person, and then this side gets steamrolled. So I come this way for the first time the entire day, and this is the one time that everybody goes to the other side. And now that fucking main is about to get steamrolled. Peekaboo, mother trucker! I know he's a solid... Who, who's a solid player? Which one? This one? Because I know his name too. But I also know this person. Not saying they're not solid players. I'm saying that they just happen to get in my games no matter what time I stream. And I'm sure it's purely coincidental that even after taking a Hayate or a hi hiatus, Hayate. Oh, I forgot. Frederick DeGrosa and GK both had both overmatched my bot. Or bot. Don't get overmatched. But uh, anyway. Sure, it's pure coincidence that earlier today in the stream, he got in my game, and now he gets in my game, despite having several hours between the two. Pure coincidence. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know that guy's name too. I know less about him. Hope that these stupid ass trees don't fuck me over here. What is that? And we still get to kill. Did you see that fucking RNG? Like, what the fuck was that? I'd get better RNG if I literally closed my eyes, looked somewhere on the map, and let Auto Aim do the work. Like, fuck. Break his gun. This guy is 100% gonna try to ramp me. 100%. He is a German battleship that feels like he has nothing else that he can commit to the game. He is 100% gonna ramp me. That's why he's looking the other direction when I get to knock his turret. Worst part is, this guy could legitimately do a drive-by and kill me. Uh-oh. Here comes the ramp. Shocker. We should have seen that coming. And now, the entire game rests in the hands of a fucking Marco Polo. Pardon me if I don't have any fucking... Like, I knew it was coming. I knew that's exactly what that guy was going to do. As soon as he, st he started charging towards me, I knew I was fucked. There's nothing I could do about that. What a joke. Musashi's just not an accurate ship. I don't care if a fucking Musashi's accurate or not. It's fucking two kilometers. There shouldn't be any RNG at that point. You literally just point the fucking gun at the thing and it goes kaboom. That's what should happen at two kilometers. There shouldn't be any of this. As soon as I pull the trigger, it's just fucking fire sale. The, the guns go everywhere but where you're looking. Like, that's fucking stupid. Like, that, there should be a fucking minimum dist- or a maximum, like, distance at which, like, you have 
No fucking RNG anymore. Period. There should be none. There's no way in hell that you can tell me that at that range, the guns could possibly, the shells would have to go the su through the sides of the barrel to miss as badly as they do at times. Like, it makes no fucking sense. Like, the shells legitimately do not leave the barrels. It is, it is simply impossible for them to fucking fly in the directions that they do at times. At the ranges that they do it. Like, if it's a long shot, yeah, there's gonna be some fucking deviation. I get it. You gotta have it, right? You gotta have deviations. I get it. But at the fucking range that we're engaging in these fucking battles, like, there should be no, no fucking deviation. Like, we're literally two kilometers away from a broadside battleship, and you telling me I miss him? I fucking miss? Really? Questions. I have them. Lots of them. But again, I, I get it. There's supposed to be RNG in the game. It helps protect people that don't know what they're doing so that they at least have a chance of having some fun. Otherwise, the super sweaty tryhards, and I'm not even including myself in that, otherwise the super sweaty tryhards would just fucking run rampant over everybody. I get it. I Trust me, I understand. <laughs> but, but, there needs to be a distance at which that no longer fucking works, okay? There is no fucking... There is no cure for somebody who's like, yes, I'm gonna go broadside at two kilometers, okay? The guy deserves to die, he should die, period. None of this, okay, scatterbrain, everybody, go away from one another, social distance right now, shells. We don't have the, we don't have the ability to maintain close fire support anymore. It's just go everywhere but where the, tur the person is aiming. That is not RNG, that is bullshit. <laughs> and I think we can all agree on that. Whether it's a cruiser, a battleship, a destroyer, it doesn't matter. We've all seen it. We've all been there. We've all had those shots. It's fucking bullshit. Right? I actually like the Duncan. I don't mind. Even in a even in a ranked battle like this, like I don't mind it. Like I don't mind brawling with a Duncan. Most people don't know what the hell they're doing. Duncan's a solid ship. It's got a good heal. It's got nasty torpedoes. Well, hello there. Problem is trying to figure out where everybody's gonna be so that you can pre predict like what the hell you need to be doing. Okay, so we have Minnesota off my. Oh my God, it's the same person. Okay. So dude dies first. Ends up in the next lobby, too. Alright. I get it. Totally get it. I have no idea what the hell that guy's doing. I have no idea why that guy is... Uh, it's a pompous... Dude, how, how many people are going to get in my games? Like, legitimately, how many people are going to get in my games? I shouldn't have to fucking hide the screen on ranked battles, man. I'll just take this base. My teammate's gonna get fucked up out there, cause me just sitting there and there's two people and I can't help him because if I pull out and start helping, then this fucker's gonna come around the corner because this guy's all the way out here in bumfuck Egypt not doing a shit. But he is using a smoke here reason. Oh, lordy. It's, it's gonna be me versus everybody again. I can feel it. Like, I already know. This whole time, this guy behind me, if he'd have been in a decent position, he'd have had good crossfires. I can't crossfire him because I'm trying to capture the base. Like I said, if I'd have pushed forward around the corner, then I'd have been fucked there because... Like I said, there's literally a guy sitting here waiting for me to come around the fucking corner and start focusing other people. And once again, I leave him with just enough to fucking get away. Fortunately, that torpedo doesn't give a fuck. 
戦艦を撃沈よ対空戦闘用意艦前方から魚雷が接近中Minnesota, right? I shouldn't have to worry too much. Let's get some distance. You know, hello. He has his rear gun ready. Dude, what is the point of trying to like turn your guns and dive? Like they never fucking end up where you need them. I am terrified of that thing shooting me through the butt right now. I'm not gonna lie. I will over angle my broadside to make sure that he doesn't shoot my butt. This is guaranteed Citadel's so gonna go through my butt. I'd much, I have a much better chance of bouncing shells if they shoot my belt. There we go. We'll take that. You do not want the butt of this thing facing anybody that has the capability of overmatching, which means anybody with 15-inch guns or larger. Like, give, give, them the, give them the belt. Do not let them shoot your butt. Oh my god, I'm on the one spot again. Okay, he fired his guns though. It's beautiful. The teammate into the superstructure. Beautiful. Can I get turned around? I might just get dev struck if I can't get turned around. Let's go ahead and get that heal just in case. That uh, getting a, a tick at the right time might be what I need. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. We'll All right, ends up doing what it's got to do. Duncan's a fantastic ship. Anybody who says it isn't is fucking on crack. Duncan is ridiculous. Like, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, Duncan's AP is stupid. And everybody out there that wants to say, oh, Duncan's just an HE spammer, y'all need to learn how to use AP too. Because <laughs> Duncan is nasty. Wait, what? Who's, what, what's going on with, uh, my condolences? What did I miss? Or were, did you say my, cold, my condolences because he pulled the North Dragon? Is that what it is? I thought somebody. Oh, GG's Apophis. It's all good, dude. Like I said, there was just nothing I could do. If I'd have backed out and try, or if I'd have tried to push forward and help you initially, like, I would have just got shot by the Minnesota. He was just sitting there waiting for his opportunity to fuck me over. So I was just waiting. I grab the cap, reverse, catch the uh, catch the other turd, and deal with it from there. I've had too many games where I've ended up uh, in situations where I shouldn't be in. But I'm trying to play a little bit smarter. I know it's a it's a stretch for me. I don't I don't like to play smart. I like to just play fast and loud. Need two more games for rank one. I'm getting there. Good luck, my dude. At least we got you one. Okay, what is this guy doing?
Zarkoon, I think you would love this ship. As much as you love the Nelson, like, you would love this ship. And you don't even have to use the uh, HE in this ship. Like, the AP is fantastic, and it's got the fucking uh, guns from the... Uh, oh, what is it? The Collingwood. Like, it's got those fantastic accuracy guns that you just love. These things are legit railguns. Look at the ship, game. Nope. Go ahead and speed up here. Engine boost to stow. Kono Hayasa, and it's the Korea. These guns are legitimately nasty. Fire out. Probably shouldn't have put that fire out, come to think of it. This guy's got eight torpedoes aimed at my bow right now. Or is it four? Does roof wreck get eight or four? I think it's eight. have the one guy sitting back. Okay, secondaries. People that like to shoot the fucking... Oh my god. If it wasn't for people shooting for the fucking Citadel every time, I would get fucked up so much more often. Thank god everybody always shoots for the Citadel. You know what I'm saying? Really? That's road Frederick? Please? Oh, he gets it through the cheek! And he lives! He's dead though, right? Flooding? Okay. I was gonna say, dude, he, he, he actually aimed for the side plating that time. Like, I was really hoping he'd go for the belt. But, dude, him breaking our gun fucked us right there. We would have had another another hit that would have probably done better. But these guys, Palmer's got no damage. He's fine. This guy's broadside again, so hopefully he gets changed. But it should be an easy win. Telling you, man, Duncan is fantastic. You just gotta be careful. Rely on everybody being a moron, because they most most of the time they are. Like I was hoping that guy'd shoot the belt again. Legitimately, I was hoping that guy would shoot the belt. Play Al's ass. I would rather no. <laughs> no. Uh, that sounds awful. I don't even know if I still have the Owl's Eyes, do I? I don't remember if I bought it or if it was back when they, uh, like, when I was still in the CC program. I don't remember. Why don't I ever play the main? Because I have the Montana. We've played the main a couple of times during this ranked battle, but I, I don't play a lot of tier 8s. So there's no reason to. Most of the tier 8s are just sadder versions of the legendary tier, and I have pretty much all the legendaries. But there isn't really a reason to play tier 8s. I do like the Ruprecht. Wish, or not the Ruprecht, uh, the uh, Repub. Wish the Repub, Repub was a uh, legendary tier ship. It should be, by all accounts, should be a legendary tier ship. I don't hate American ships on Tier 8. I just don't think that they have a purpose. Like, there's literally no situation where being in a Tier 7 version of the same ship or a tier, uh, legendary tier of the same ship is not better. Like, they just don't offer anything. Like, what's the, what's the point of playing Minnesota if you play Kansas? 
right? And now with, with Vermont coming in, like it's even more obvious. Why even bother playing Minnesota at all once Vermont gets here, other than to get Vermont. But uh, like it's just tier eight in general is just an under thought answer to the problems that they created with the way that they started the game to begin with. Like, it just, I don't know. Tier 8 is a direct result of everybody complaining that their Tier 7s can't keep up with the Legendary Tiers because they don't know what the hell they're doing. So they separated the two tiers and put a, an extra tier in there, and then they ended up mix-smashing everything, and it's just been a fucking clusterfuck mess ever since. Like, then they made it stupidly expensive. Because everybody always said, well... Dude, I, I can't I, I don't want I don't want newer players in at higher tiers, so let's let's give Wargaming a reason to make everything cost an arm and a leg and your firstborn child. As if the tier sevens weren't already eighteen million and that was ridiculous, plus all the modules. I mean you're already spending twenty million, twenty five million or something like that on a tier seven when you get it upgraded. Now you got the tier eights in there, you're spending thirty to thirty five mil per ship. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, look, it's Apophis again. <sighs> I'm not the only one to think so. I, I think we can all agree that Tier 8 is just a shit show. There's no there's no reason for it. If, if separating the tiers is what you wanted and adding more ships is what you wanted, then just fucking make legendary ships fight legendary ships. There's enough of them in the game now that it should have its own fucking tier or whatever, if that's what you want to do. Since nobody seems to know how to play the game well enough to, like, not get death struck in a tier 7, which is actually a tier 9 on PC most of the time anyway. <laughs> PC has plus 2, minus 2 matchmaking, right? Or plus 2, minus 1, right? It's plus 2, minus 1 matchmaking on PC, meaning tier 8s on PC have to fight fucking legendary ships, tier 10s. Or super ships, God help you. Um, and yet, people on Legends were complaining because their Iowa can't fight a fucking Yamato, even though Iowa's a tier 9 on PC and wouldn't fight Yamato anyway. And Iowa's were literally built in real life to fight a fucking, uh, you know, ship similar to the Yamato. So, again, it's just... I don't know. People don't know what they actually want in the game. That's, that's what we've already discussed. Like, People, people would rather complain and holler about it. You know, at, the, at this point, I'm, I'm just, like, making everybody, like, laugh because, <laughs> like, you know damn well somebody out there is going, really, Spartan? You're going to talk about people complaining? I, I know. The irony is, is thick. I get it. But, but seriously. that accuracy though. Uh, ended up not getting it. Protect me, Death Star. Alright, so we know that one ship was going to the right. We know that one ship was staying close. Both of them are waiting to shoot me. So we don't want to do anything crazy. What is the third ship? It is a Ruprecht. Okay, so where is the Ruprecht hiding? Sure, he's got a spotter plane up at the moment. My team's capturing the base. I don't have to do anything crazy here. Just hold my, t hold my uh, tongue a little bit. Wait for these guys to actually get engaged. Now that they've kind of committed, God, this ship doesn't like to turn, though. I will say that. She doesn't like to turn. Couple of overpins to the bow. 
like how they're yelling for my support. <laughs> and they they left the cap. They could have they could have had the cap. They literally could have just sat in the cap and grabbed the cap. But nope, they want to come out and fight. They had an island. They could have just went up behind the island. Again, they, they could have just captured the base. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with capturing bases, folks. Turn back the left side. God bless America. Am I in the Montana or what? Keep the guns on the left side of the ship. To eat us, the lead us, the Giuseppe for being broadside. No Citadel. Sadness. Heck. Roof Rex. Actually, just happened to all my shells. Anybody know? Hello, Sunshine. Interesting bow cycling you got there. Oh! How does the guy next to me fuck up the shot? I was gonna say, dude literally just has to scratch him and he's dead. Like I said, Duncan's very good. And I love the fact that we're scraping the island right now. Don't you love that we have depth under keel gauges to gauge how deep the water is so you don't keep it when you're close to an island? Right. This is a dangerous maneuver to try, to be perfectly frank. Because I don't have any way of getting angled enough here. When I want to beach, I can't fucking beach. Look how close we are to the island now. When I want to beach, we can't beach. beach I can't beach no matter how close I get to the island when I don't want to beach I can beach 20 20 kilometers off the side of an island I can never never fail it's like I was trying to get myself stopped so that I'd start reversing and it never fucking touched the island
Mm. Is Kid just HE most of the time? Yes. Most destroyers are HE most of the time. Uh, with the exception of the Elbing Bong and other German destroyers and potentially I, I mean there are situations especially if you get a broadside cruiser to use the ap but more often than not he is what you want to be shooting out of a destroyer you got t such small guns in most of them that your ap is going to shatter or bounce at angles unless they're complete flat broadside at close range all stations proceed to capture that area like a blizzard. All right, what do we got? We got uh, Pomern, we got the Z44 Repub. Oh my lord, have mercy. Dude, why? What up, talking hit? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. We uh, took... Took in... Uh, had to take a phone call earlier, so we had to disconnect the stream, so I apologize to everybody who was in that stream. Uh, but then afterwards, I went to the gym, got some of my frustration out, and uh, came back, and we've been pretty much crushing it ever since. So, sometimes, sometimes a break is needed. I ain't gonna lie. Things were getting out of control anyway, so having to take that call may have been the best thing I've done all day. Also made some lunch. Ended up making me some, uh, I had, I had chicken marinating for the last two days, right? Uh, and some Italian dressing. And then I took in, uh, rolled it in, rolled it in some, uh, good old fashioned, oh, of course, he's coming my way. Shocker. Um, I rolled, I rolled the chicken that I marinated in some Parmesan cheese and then baked it in the oven. And man, that stuff's good. So good. Might get a cheeky shot here through the islands. Yeah. Didn't get spotted. Should be a decent shot. I'm telling you, this this thing is nasty. I don't know. There there shouldn't be anybody that says that this is a bad ship. Like this is fantastic, especially for a tier eight. Like this thing is nasty at tier eight. I love brawling in this thing. Because people will always underestimate that torpedo, too. Like, they see a torpedo coming towards them, and they're like, Oh, it's just one torpedo. I can take it. 30,000 damage right on the snoot. Right on the snoot. I am worried where the fuck this destroyer is, though. Not gonna lie. I haven't been spotted. And they're not in the cap. If I get this cap, I should be able to come around the corner here pretty hard. Jessica, thank you for the $10. Appreciate you. Um, wait, you're in the Z44 right now? Alright. Thank you, Jess. And, uh, GG's. Good luck. spot in here. Das war ein großartiges Gefecht. There's the little turd. Der Dick zu kleiner Jüse. Geist du ist schon da. Zügi ich war ja. Make it through. Did well. Take it. I don't like that we just lost our uh, battleship. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe, maybe 
Maybe I need to chill a little bit here. I don't know why when I happen to get in my Z44. P.S. I was the summer. Ah, it's it's all good, Jess. Engine boost. Okay. Armor goes down, but it's just just mon left. Fair enough. Let's go. I'll take the risk. If he citadels me, he citadels me. Shot me with HE. Maybe he had HE loaded. I don't know why he would. So I'll be pushing, but whatever. We don't we don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh. Thanks, Jess. Also, can we get some goats in the chat for Jess as well? You were in the Sumner who lost to the Hayate. Oh really? <laughs> oh really? I remember that one! I didn't even notice. I just straight up was like, how did the Sumner lose to the Hayate? No, that's not me. I'm playing in a different match. I'm Strike Knight. I was in the Sumner who lost to the Hayate. Gotcha. Huh. Well, it looks like I'm going to try to give Haman another loss. If I can pull it off. There is a Heezen and a Rizaya. The Rizaya's got a weird armor scheme, man. I don't know why the developers are like, yes, we need to protect this thing on a drive-by in particular. Let's put an extra thickness of armor right in front of its turret where everybody would go through the cheek to try to citadel it. That ought to work. Like, it's already Russian, all right? Like, the whole point of, like, playing Russian ships is that you've got ridiculous armor to begin with. You don't need, like, special protection for a drive-by. I don't know if you guys saw that earlier when we looked at it. Just got one little spot of, of like, maximum armor right in front of its front turret at the waterline that protects it from, like, drive-bys. Ridiculous. So, Zarki, did you say that you have the Duncan yet, or have you not got it yet? I didn't. I didn't see. Also, here's a here's a fun theory that I, I came up with. Uh, Zarkoon already knows because I typed it in his comments, but uh, I am confident that Zarkoon is in fact a Vulcan. All right, that's that is one conspiracy theory I'm going to start, and I I will absolutely go to my grave wearing that tinfoil hat. Zarkoon is not a human. He is, in fact, a Vulcan. Alright? Like, that is, it is fact. That man suppresses his emotion so well, it's actually crazy. Oh my god, hello. Don't mind if I do. It is a broadside he's in. And I got nothing for it. Because they managed to get moving just in time. Okay, so they're all coming this way again. Just 
randomly toss that out there. You know, just test the waters, see what we can get. Gotta love it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's right on the suit. Oh, it's HE. Why are you shooting HE out of a Republic? Come on, we gotta talk. Like, you gotta stop that. Repub has such good AP, and you're using HE. Why? Oh, he got in reverse. He's gonna get rewarded for it. Oh, We got the other cap. Apophis with a $20 bomb. Thank you so much, my dude, and happy Valentine's Day to you as well. And Will Mogri, or McGeary. I think that's how it's pronounced. I apologize. But, oh my god, look at that accuracy! What the hell, man? This thing is fucking railgun. Alright, we're not gonna be able to get this cap, so we're just gonna go forward, try to get rid of this Heezen. Really game. It'd be nice if my teammate would get hit that freaking heason and get rid of him. Behind everything. I would love to know how somebody's got enough penetration to go through the superstructure and into the turret and still fucking do damage. The fact that this fucking uh, Heezen is still alive, like, can we please? Shoot this little turd and get rid of it. That'd be my belt, sunshine. This heason has lived way too fucking long. Thank you. Oh, also, that is gonna stay. Not only that torpedo is gonna stay, but this is gonna stay. Isn't that belt? Super heels for the win, boys. All, right. All that HE, how how did it work out for you, Mr. Dude? Not gonna got arsonist. It was very well timed on his part. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The timing on that couldn't have been better, and I just sailed out of the cap like a dingus. The timing on that couldn't have been better if I wanted to. All oh, that HE, and what did it get you, arsonist? <laughs> the timing. Uh, that's hilarious. Also, I don't know if he knows this, but he is absolutely in a position where he could be heated. 
by the Citadel for the change. I don't know if I can avoid this island. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna rush it. Engine boost, Shito. Look at that accuracy, dude. I need to aim higher. He's getting angled enough. Like, he looks like he's pretty fucking, like, open. But he's actually not. I know I can't do this. this angle. Or not, clearly. He destroys the torp tube that I'm about to load. Torp? Yep. No flood, though. Look at that. He's learning. That'd be my belt armor, and now you die. But he should get another- Oh, the fire! I'm alive! Another no flood! He, he had to have just DC'd again. Surely this guy behind me can do some damage and finish him off, right? Like, I, I did 158,000 damage. All you gotta do is finish him. Thank you. He needs to learn to shoot AP, man. For reals. He may have gotten an arsonist, but he probably would have won that if he'd have been shooting AP at me. Cause he does overmatch. Like he just he just learned that he does overmatch me with that last shot. But one more game. Let's go. Nah, I don't ram. And I mean I could have, but even then I don't know. I was expecting him to die. Like let's be real, dude survives with no fucking hit points, none. Uh, American made, yeah, my dad's fine. It, it wasn't anything like that, but it was an urgent call, and he did call me twice, like, right before the stream. Uh, or no, he, he called me... I want to say he called me early in the stream, and then he called me right there at the end when I had to, like, ended it. Just life things, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, whatever, let's get it done. AP, let's go. Destroyer, what are you? You are a Hayate, and we are against a Smallland. Okay, Smallland is a radar, I believe. Giuseppe is definitely a radar. Yeah, yeah, he definitely can overmatch. The re the repub has 17-inch uh, guns, I believe, or maybe it's 16 and a half inch guns. I can't remember which. I think it's 17-inch guns. Uh, and they're French armor piercing, which are just nasty. They're usually pretty accurate at close range, too. Um, and this ship is susceptible, like I've mentioned multiple times, of being citadeled through the bow and the stern. Uh, it's very, very nasty at getting citadeled straight through the bow and straight through the stern, which is why when I end up doing a drive-by and failing, it's almost certain death for me. If you guys saw the Duncan video where I said uh, I'm dunking on fools, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about because that Massachusetts damn near one shot at me straight through the back of the ship. So, and it wasn't even at an angle. Like, dude, literally just shot straight through the back of the ship, and then uh, because we only have 25 millimeters of, of plating, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, which is anything 15 inches and above over matches. Uh, will, 
in the Awami. I'm sorry, my dude. I, I didn't see it. I, I saw your, your super chat, and thank you for the $5, my dude. Appreciate you. I just didn't see uh, that you wanted a ship. I'm sorry. Iwami would be another solid choice for this, because Iwami, unlike the Musashi, doesn't necessarily get deleted every time somebody looks at its broadside. Thankfully, my destroyer and my battleship are both, like, sailing next to each other, holding hands back there in the backfield. Alright, I'm gonna load up HE. We got the other battleship here too. So both the battleships are here and the destroyers. Okay, um his location. He shouldn't be able to get torched through this gap. We know the destroyer's here. I'm worried that the destroyer's about to yeet me with torpedoes. I'm gonna go around this corner. He's probably... Oh, lordy. That's gonna stink. Good shot. the destroyer came over here, grabbed this cap, and then got to the other cap, and our destroyer is still sitting out there with his thumb up his ass. Need to do something crazy here. Oh, yeah. That's sad. Okay, he just fired. Hello, sunshine. Battleship shooting me through the butthole. actually died. I didn't realize that or I would have stopped. Am I dead here? Or am I going to get loaded? Oops. No. Torpedoes. 
torpedo. Nope. Is he gonna? Yeah, it's gonna too fast for him to turn back into. Hopefully, we did enough. I feel like we did enough to win this. How did this guy lose all of his hit points? This man ain't had to do anything. Oh my, we are going to lose. We're actually gonna lose this. How? <laughs> How? Oh, we What? <laughs> what the hell just happened? The fucking destroyer ran into the torpedo? <laughs> Just occurred. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? I don't understand. I mean, that was a hundred percent skill. That was clearly what I was going for. <laughs> oh my god, what even is this game? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, lordy. <laughs> there are, there are some things that you just can't make up. Is this the part where I'm supposed to say, you miss all the shots you don't take. <laughs> Shit out a torpedo and see what happens. Oh. Uh. Yep. Simply better, boys. That's all. <laughs> I don't I don't know. But that's rank battles, boys. We did it. Look at our rewards. Didn't we earn so much? Look at this. Wow. <laughs> what what on earth will we do with these rewards? All right, now for the moment of truth. How bad was ranked this time? You guys know I gotta look, right? I actually don't feel like this was that bad. Like, I feel like we actually got through this really quickly. So I think we're gonna have a pretty high, surprisingly high win rate, despite how crazy everything went. Seventy-two percent win rate, twenty-five battles, one point two four KDR. No, what are you talking about, Zarkoon? I literally... I, that was the whole goal. I launched it out there hoping that it would be slow enough that the battleship would dodge it and it would go and hit the destroyer. That was that was all skill. Don't you don't you underestimate me, Mr. Zarky. <laughs> that was skill. I, I mean, I don't think so, but... Honestly, I uh, at this point, Duncan is the way to go. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly, Duncan is the way to go. Look at that fucking run, boys. I, I went to the gym after, after the phone call and everything. Blew off a lot of fucking steam at the gym. Come out and didn't fucking lose a single game. That's, uh, that's, that's a new one, boys. Uh, well, I mean, we got time, so we might as well just keep fucking going, huh? Yeah, hitting the gym is clearly the secret. Clearly. Uh, you were on that team and had all of us hurting. Why you think? I don't know what you were, uh, I don't know which one you're referring to, my dude. Um, which, which game? You weren't in that last one, right? 
Yeah, you weren't in that last one. I know you were in a couple of our games. Come on, was there. Come on. There, ah, there you are. Gotcha. I was going to say, I, I don't remember the last game you were in, but yeah. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, back to what we were doing. That was the torp that ranked me out. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was, in fact. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what happened. I wish I was paying more attention in that moment. I wish I had, like, put, switched to the overview camera and was flying around the free cam. Because I would love to have known what was happening. Like, if it was legitimately, like, a home run out of nowhere he didn't see it in time because it was it would have had to have been spotted it literally sailed right past the battleship so you know that torpedo was spotted right so like there's no realm in this world like i know he was fighting our destroyer so maybe he was just like tunnel visioned on the destroyer didn't see it and just ran into it right after killing our destroyer but i legitimately thought we lost that one i ain't gonna lie Yeah, the different colors is your win rate. Um, like, there's a there's a scale that you can look up on ranked that shows you the different win rates and what their colors are. You're in the Ohio with me. Interesting. You're in a naked Ohio, and how are you in a naked Ohio? That's that's not Ohio. That's a fucking Montana. I was like, I was like, he's in a naked Ohio. How? Why? Why is that a thing? No, it's a Montana, and the Ohio's on the other side. accurate I wish it was AP but are you you've got to be joking I hit both sides of his ship didn't hit the thing in the middle <laughs> only me is he beached broadside oh my god how is this man still alive That's better. That makes up for it. Eight whole pins and a fire. He immediately extinguishes. Alright, so we know we got... We've got the Italian battleship over here. One of their destroyers went out around the other side. We got a Clabert right here. And there's the other destroyer. Okay, so both the destroyers are in middle on a, and on the other side. So we have nothing to shoot at over here except for Colombo. And I can't even lob the island, apparently. Alright, rotate the guns. By the time they get rotated to go back the other direction, I'm just going to turn and go back towards the other side. Because everybody's running away from this side. Actually, you know what? Don't rotate the guns. We'll just, we'll just push this side. Columbo's here. I mean, Clabert should death strike the Columbo. That's not even a question. Um, but there is somebody coming back this direction. And I should be in a position to shoot him shortly. 
Should be a dead Columbo. There's six and a ram. No, he gets the torps away. Yep, I was gonna say, should be, should be a dead. I thought he was gonna ram him, but yeah. Columbo had fun. Quebert needs, Quebert needs a buff, I heard. Giving it, giving it freaking uh, 12 torpedoes that do Shima damage and giving it like 80 knots top speed as a destroyer and low concealment is not enough for most people. They need it to go faster. Or they need it to uh, be better. Yes, when they nerfed it, they nerfed the, the range of that torps pretty good, but... Like, it's so good. It's... Are you fucking... Can we get some shells to hit the target? Like, we have only hit one salvo. Every other shot that we've taken has missed. They give it enough hit points that the, the Kleber can live through the Yellow Rush. They give it a main battery reload booster for 150 millimeter guns. And on top of that, they also give it fucking torpedoes on both sides of the ship where you have six torps off of either side that are capable of doing 20, what, 23,000 damage each. Definitely sounds like it needs a buff. CD Queen coming in with the $5. Do you think... There will be a place for the Montana here in Legends once... Yeah, why wouldn't there be? Oh, shit. See that coming. All right, well, let's start... God dang it, game. Look at the fucking Yama! Jesus! You lock onto him, and it'll go over there. And lock onto him, and go over there. Like, look at the fucking ship I'm looking at, damn it! Okay, there's a double. That's going to be a damage con for sure. Now we try to get the, the permafire. God, I wish I had AP loaded, though, for both of these guys, really. Double. Oh, come on. wouldn't it be? He's been in every fucking game. Even in... I'm sure he just ranked out at the exact same time I did, right? Which is why he's now in my, my normal lobby. because this fucking Yamato's coming back. Okay. Fire. Do I survive long enough to get one more fucking heal off? shot from the other side of the godforsaken map the guy that's been in every one of my freaking rank battles. Screw you, Yama. And there goes the turret. 
Can I go dark? 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 Can I go I know that I was dark, but I was about to be spotted anyway. Plus, I think he just damaged on. Oh my god, are you serious? I didn't get the fire. Does he miss? Who the fuck shoots an AG out of a god dang Yama anyway? Hopefully we still win this. Peekaboo! Say, this guy knows that this, he's been shooting HE this whole time, so surely this fucking Zhao can do some damage. Believe it or not, the Zhao actually has some pretty fucking ridiculous AP as well. It's not just the HE you gotta worry about with this thing. He stacks all of his torps on top of each other, so he completely whiffs the fucking torpedoes. Because that's what you do. When you have 10 torpedoes per side of your ship, you definitely throw them all in the same fucking location, rather than splitting them up. That is definitely what you do. Doesn't matter, because he is burning. Oh, he just put the fire out. Hold that thought. That guy's 20 kilometers away. He can't shoot. The other guy's 26 kilometers away. He can't shoot. Did you, did you play uh, Vermont, or did you play PC today? I know you did a stream the other day, Zerky. And don't ever worry about, like, promoting yourself on my channel, my dude. No, I don't care. We all friends. I don't care. Hell, you can post the link. You're a moderator. You can legitimately just post the link to your uh, video if you want people to check it out. Do, do, do. Also, CV Queen, I just realized that was your first ever, first ever super chat on, on YouTube. Thank you so much. Um, as for your question, like, Montana is always going to have a place in World of Warships Legends. It has too much power to not have a place. It's so accurate. It's uh, It's got so much fire. Or, like, so so many shells flying down range. Like, it is a fantastic ship. They're only 16 inches, but they it's still, I mean, it's still hitting accurately more often than not and hitting for anywhere from 15 to 20k damage with AP. Uh, and that's if you don't score a Citadel. Like, that's just farming superstructure. So, yes, I, I truly do believe that Montana is just fine and will be fine for a long time. Uh, Ohio coming out didn't change my mind about Montana. Vermont coming out. Don't get me wrong. I really want to play the Vermont. And I will be playing the Vermont a lot. But when it comes down to it, like, the Montana's still a fantastic ship. Nothing's going to change that. It's got ridiculous armor. It's got ridiculous accuracy. It's got a high volume of fire. Like, is, what else could you ask for in a battleship? Yeah, it's a little bit slow rudder shift, but you're going to get that with everything. I think the Vermont might have a little bit faster rudder shift because it's kind of a thicker ship. It's not as long as the, the Montana, but it's still like the, the big thing about the Vermont is that it gets 12 18 inch guns, 457 mil. It overmatches 30 millimeters of armor, which all 18 inch guns do, but it does not overmatch the 32 millimeters like the Yama and the Musashi do. Um, the other thing that the, month, the Vermont has going for it, it doesn't get the heal that the um, Ohio gets, so you don't have to worry about that. But what it does get is good concealment, much like the Minnesota and the Kansas. So I would expect it to be a 13.2, maybe a 12.8 concealment when it comes in, um, when you build it with the concealment mod and all of that. Um, what I'm most curious about is the accuracy. On PC, the Vermont accuracy is rivaled to none. Like, there is no battleship on PC that I can think of, that I know of, 
that has better accuracy. And on top of that, you also have the extremely high amount of guns. The 12 gun broadside. Like, I legitimately dev struck a Kremlin with just the front guns of the Vermont. If you don't know, a Kremlin is ridiculous. It's not in Legends yet, but it'll likely come, especially now that Vermont's in the game. I would assume that they've got no other reason not to bring the Kremlin at this point. Though, I don't know when it'll come. But... Vermont is a fantastic ship. Now, we don't have as long a range on, on consoles, so I would expect the range to be nerfed from the PC because there's no reason to be... Have, oh, Lord have mercy. Every day. Uh, is, is Haman here too? Nuked one's here, I'm sure. He he was he was apologizing earlier. Now he's, now he's back in my game. Shocker. And they wonder why I don't give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm sorry, Spartan. I didn't mean to get in your game. I just want to play with you. Immediately gets in my game. <laughs> they wonder why I don't give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I wasn't expecting these guys to go full hand. Fire on the enemy so I need to get out here and try to help them. Hopefully between the Alaska and the uh, Destroyer, they can kill that... Shima. Like, I legitimately was not expecting them to go whole ham here and, and be good. I mean, look at that damage. Like, immediately 16,000 damage. And we didn't get the Shima killed, so he gets to be a problem for a little while longer. Shot out, superstructure. Another what, 15k, 20k? Down goes our gearing. I'm starting to figure out that I probably shouldn't have committed. I gave these guys way too much credit. Now I'm gonna be out here with a dead Alaska and a Shima that's going to be eating me. Oh, thank God. The Shima's torps hit the fucking purple. So Alaska should kill him. Mark. Or a secondary kill. All right, let's go ahead and use our first heal. I don't want to use my... Uh... Okay, there's the second set. Where's the third? I don't want to use my fucking... Uh, down goes the guy with the zonon. Okay. So now I've got to deal with that. We know that he's out here. I just don't want to damage Khan on a double fire and then eat a torpedo. Knowing that there's a Shima out here somewhere. Dude, my entire team's dead. We're four minutes into the game. My entire team is dead. <laughs> yep. It checks out. I know they're sleeping out there somewhere. Oh, no. He actually got the third set around the island. I'm dead. That is so much fucking damage. Three warps, your entire health pool just evaporates. Uh. How does a fucking gearing have a radar cruiser light up a fucking Shima and not able to kill it? Yeah, 30 seconds to murder the fucking Shima. 30 seconds. Between the Alaska and the gearing, they should have murdered that fucking Shima. But they let him slip away and now he's going to terrorize the entire fucking team because of it. There any fucking hope that I can pull this shit back? I don't think there is. <laughs> don't think there is. Sleeping. Cap.
正面に手順予感を受けああ戦うとも。正面に魚雷発見うまく避けてくれ火災発生ダメージコントロール急げ対応が完了した次の指示戦艦の時代はすでに終わっているとは思うわあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、敵の勝利がマジかかわあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、Your max damage in Ohio is 249k. Mine is 264. My Montana, 289. Yamato, 337. Conqueror, 316. Kerr first. This is going to be sadness. <laughs> 223. Schlieffen, 227. Bergon, also going to be sadness. 228. Look at that win rate, though, on Burgo. This just goes to show you, like, I may not do a lot of, like, consistently high damage in the ship, but I do know how to fucking play it, and I play to win. It's not a very big sample size, I'll give you that, but still, 71% win rate on a fucking battleship is pretty damn good. And then, of course, Columbo's probably gonna be awful. Because I play this thing like a fucking bat out of hell. 51% win rate, 230,000 damage, though. Turns out that pretty much all of the battleships at Legendary Tier are pretty solid. Ryan Sweeney, thank you for the $5 as well. I'm glad you enjoy. I'm trying, guys. I do try. Like, I legitimately do try to have a good time on these streams. I don't like to rage. You guys know that. I like to have a good time, hang out with you guys, show you guys some fun gameplay. There, there are better players than me out there, for sure. Like Zarkoon, A-Rod, uh, fucking Meta Jerk, uh, Tactic. Uh, Durka, there, I mean, there's so many better players out there, but I try to be entertaining. I try to have fun. I try to come out here. I try to be aggressive because, you know, every, anybody can come out here and sit behind an island spamming HE and do really well. Not everybody can just go out there and have a good time while being an absolute crazy person, all right? So I try to do that. Sparta is very consistent in damage and being bad. You're not wrong. <clears throat> You've never broken 220k in legendary tier? Really? Do you just not play a legendary much? Oh, shit. Carrier. You don't see that very often. This is a terrible map for this ship, too. I don't like this map for this. It's too pancakey. Kind of rem this map reminds me a lot of Scandinavia. The good thing about Scandinavia is you get a little bit more like time. I know that I'm making a stupid ass turn here. Oh my yes. lord, dude! Can we get one game, boys? One game? It's every game, man. I know what it is. They're clearly only playing legendary tier. I need to just play something else. It looks decently accurate. 
through the keyhole over the mountain and Ooh. That man just got hit by the space center. Or the space station. That's what I was thinking of. That man literally just got hit with the fucking rods from God. Legitimately. Oh look, we're spotted by planes. Yay. Hmm. We didn't get a second shot, unfortunately. Twenty-five K opening salvo though. Can't complain. Dang, planes come off. Trying to get a flank. Through the keyhole? Oh, that looks accurate as fuck. That's gonna sting. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Ouch. Suddenly, he doesn't want to sail around broadside anymore. What? Ooh, I got the shot off. Oh my god, are we gonna get another one through a keyhole? Through the keyhole, over the mountain, over and. Oh, sadness. Sadness. Grim Gripper coming in with a $20 bomb. Thank you so much, my dude. Got two dev strikes on a Montana and a Brisbane. Nice. Thank you so much for the $20 bomb, too. Get some goats in the chat for everybody tonight. For Grim, Ryan, CV Queen, Apophis. Will, everybody. Get some goats in there. Okay, let's aim for some structure here because I don't feel like he's going to finish that turn. Looks really fucking accurate, so we are going to hit the Arthas button here. Dropped it right in the bread box. are going to get there before the plane goes down, but if they do, that'll be an extra 20% damage on that salvo. It's going to be close. Nah, they got there right after it. Look at this accuracy from Lamont here. Is he still shooting HE? Yes, he is. Oh, brother. You got alert to use HE, my dude. You're just embarrassing me, just wanted to say that you are one of my favorite guys to watch. I was the Ohio in your... Grim with another $5. Thank you so much, my dude. Yeah, I know. I, I saw it. Uh, I'm gonna turn new. away here. I don't want to make that turn towards somebody who may at any moment decide his Yamato shouldn't be shooting AG. Okay. Okay. All right, we should be out of range of his Yamato and that Mino, so we're going to get turned in now. I probably could have made a safe turn coming in. I just didn't want to take that chance, because if he does load AP and I make that turn towards them, coming off of the border, slowed down, like, that is almost guarantee fucking Death Strike territory. And you know damn well he would have got the best RNG he's ever seen in his life out of that Yamato on that salvo alone. Guarantee. Yeah, when you when you use when you use the uh, Arthas and the catapult fighter, like the, the, you don't call it a catapult fighter. It's just hitting Arthas. You just trigger Arthas, and all is well with the world. I think that guy's slowing down, but I'm gonna take the. Yeah, I was gonna say I think he's slowing down. Unfortunately. That trick only works once, Mino. Don't count on it to happen again. You know what? Why don't we 
just lost our Brisbane. How the fuck do we lose a Brisbane to a fucking carrier? Doesn't that thing have like the most ridiculous AA like Mino? Oh, hello. I don't mind if I do, sunshine. It is a beautiful looking bronze. Oh my god, look at that accuracy. Arthas! Oh, come on. He turned away just enough to make those shatter. Sadness. H-E? Yep. I don't know if he's got a fire, like, mission. Like, legitimately. I don't know if he's got a mission for fires or what. But who the hell has seen, like, one person spam this much H-E across every ship that he plays? Like, literally every ship that he plays, he has spammed H-E for the last, what, couple hours. Can't lob that, unfortunately. Hmm. So I have no idea what the hell situation looks like on the other side of the map. We just lost our Heezen because broadside is best side, clearly. Uh, and look they multiply look at him look at him he's like yes it worked for the last guy let me do the exact same thing it worked so well for him unbelievable these people have driver's licenses think about that Think about that for a second. Some of these people have driver's licenses. Have a good night, Grim. Appreciate you, man. What up, Dr. Ghost? I dare you, Yama. I fucking triple dog dare you. Oh, there he goes. He's like, nope, 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 nope. Spartan was just spotted. Gotta run away. Gotta go shoot HE at some more battleships. Look at him. He's just dead, right? Yoshino did die, but the Mino's still here, which means I gotta watch for torpedoes coming through that gap. Yama's just going to run away and play keep away from me because that's what he does. He's just going to run and shoot HE. That plane is very curious. Where did this Mino go? There he is. Speaking of metal. Hope you enjoyed living. Oh my god, he gets away from Oh look, torpedoes. Swing and a miss, sunshine. Try again some other day. You gotta get up awful early to pull one over on me like that. Sorry, buddy. Oh, look. My fucking carrier is the only one left on my side of the map. That's fun.
God's sakes. And down goes our midway. Why do they keep surviving? Thank you. Okay, Minos down. That leaves the little turd burglar they could. Get moving, please, Ohio. They rammed each other on the other side of the map. So that leaves just a little further. I wish there was a way that I could lock the rear turrets in a position and then keep the front guns going in the direction that I want them. I truly wish that that was a thing. Ox my fucking engine out again. That's why I didn't repair it going to come over and I am going to murder your face, you little turd. And I'm going to get a clear sky on the way because you clearly... Damn, I should have hit the fucking button. I didn't realize I was going to hit him that hard. No, don't you dare. You bastard. You stole my fucking kill. You little turd waffle. I know you're in the chat. You little turd. That was mine. Didn't you do enough? See, I try to play fucking smart, and then I just sit there like a fucking moron the entire game doing circles. So boring. HE is the rep rep representation of helium. You're not wrong. Let's see. It'd be hydrogen, helium. It's the third. Bor is, is, it's not boron, right? What's, what's the third? Is it bromium? Trying to think. I'm trying to think of the periodic table in order of smallest. Right off the top of my head. <laughs> Zarkoon. You mean you don't have a copy of the periodic table above your kitchen table? I, I don't think that that's... I, I think you're lying. Don't let them lie to you, folks. Zarku definitely has a copy of the periodic table at his kitchen table. I thought that was like common sense. I thought everybody had a periodic table right in front of their face when they're eating. Is that not normal? Yeah, that's just him trying to cover up the fact that he's a Vulcan. So he's like, oh, I don't have a periodic table. What are you talking about? Who, who, would, who would do such a thing? Dead, Carno? Oh, didn't quite lead him enough. Sadness. A little bit more. Oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> um, Marlboro. The oh, he's making the turn, too. All right. Don't mind if I do. All days for me, Mara, bro. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, he's slowed down. Smart Mara, bro, player. What have we got here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. This is the fucking YOLO fucking captain that we had a couple of matches ago. Oh, 
What is this black magic sorcery? Oh, fuck. Don't over rotate! Turn back the other way! Don't you dare fucking do it, Montana, you fucking big bitch! Oh, don't cause a flood! I'm alive! <laughs> How did I get away with that one? Oh, it's it's that guy. I know that guy, too. Yeah, that's a lot of help you've missed there. I can't believe I just took a fucking club air torp and didn't immediately take a flood. Just remember, I have the worst RNG in the game. That makes that even more impressive. Is he dead? Do I need to shoot him? Okay. He's dead. He's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, he's gone. Alright. Go, go spot for me, little dude. I can help you. Otherwise, I'm going to get you loaded and you're going to die. He's going to jump in the smoke screen, isn't he? I know there's a destroyer right out here on my left. Or not? Okay. So he's not behind me. Is he out on the island? No, because the island's in front of you, stupid. Okay, now I'm spotted, so roughly there. Got it. All stations uh, requesting fire eat, on the designated target. I am gonna eat your er, club air torps in the near future. Hey. Smart thing to do here would be to like turn away from them. Rather than keep driving. Oh my god. Hey look! It's that guy again. Great. Let's see if he's still smart. Bonk. No chance. No fucking chance. I refuse to believe those have enough fucking range. Oh my god, they do. <gasps> I was gonna say, no chance. Those should run out too, right? Double fired. Oh. Okay. okay, this guy's gonna have to make that turn. Oh my god, he's just out of my fucking range, though. God dang it. Fucking Claver's forcing me to fucking turn away and run like a little bitch. Meanwhile, they're losing their game. So what the hell is that Shima torping? Anybody have a clue? I can't see the fucking enemy. I know he's out there. Get our last heal up here in a minute. This has been a fucking boring ass bullshit lobby again. All these fucking destroyers, man. There's nothing more fun than sailing a gigantic battleship and waiting to die from something you can't fucking see. That has the potential of sailing around at fucking five kilometers from you undetected while also doing 46 fucking knots and has torpedoes. 
that do 23,000 damage and has six of them per side. Okay, there's the club bearer. Okay, he's come back. Shima's a dead man. I know I should shoot this fucking club bearer right now, but I can't pass that up. He, there's no way for him to dodge this one. We only get one. Like I said, I know I should shoot this destroyer. Stalingrad's the one that citadels him, of course. Cruisers can citadel battleships, but battleships can't citadel battleships. <sighs> what a fun and engaging match. Yes, you have a Montana to shoot at, but you also have two Clebears and a Marlboro that's going to run and hide. Boring! I think that's the, the word that we can call this boring. Good. Kill him. Kill him with fire. Concentrate fire on the or any other means. Just kill him. Question is, do I get around the corner to shoot at him? No, uh, looks like he's gonna die. Good evening, George. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, it is. And I still say that it's probably... Look at that fucking pathetic game, dude. Lord have mercy. Okay, let's get out of Legendary Tier. Clearly, those games are just full of destroyers at the moment, so... Maybe going down to Tier 7 will fix that. Let's go meme build Constellation for the win. Also, don't forget to punch that like button if you guys are enjoying the stream. How are you reading a book right now and listening to me bitch about the game? <laughs> that would be the most difficult thing I could think of is trying to like concentrate on reading a book while listening to me in the background. Oh, not really right now. Okay. Okay, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> Got you. Well, when you're a Vulcan and you say something, I just take you at face value. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were capable of... Uh, uh, what's what's the word? What's the word? Generality? Would that, would that be, be the word? Help me out, Vulcan. <laughs> Help me. Some people once said, or wait, some people say a man is made out of mud, a poor man's made out of muscle and blood, muscle and blood, skin and bones, a mind that's weak and a back that's strong, you load 16 tons, and what do you get, another day older and deeper in debt, St. Peter don't you call me, cause I can't go. 
I owe my soul to the company store. I was born one morning in the pouring rain. Fighting and trouble are my middle name. Two destroyers in this lobby. One of them's clearly here, if I had to guess. Try to drop that over there. Because you never know. Lord have mercy. Would you make up your mind? You're making me fucking, like, freak out over here. Are you going in or are you going around? Please make your mind up. I don't care which it is. That Miyoko is going to get himself dev struck. And, before he does, he's going to turn broadside in front of my torpedoes. Destroyer alert. Hello? Take that shot. You miss all the shots you don't take, boys. That looks pretty fucking good. I hit him. That's what matters. Hey, look, Fabuki. Oh my god, it's a tier 5. Who does this? So that means Fiji's here as well. Oh, please smoke up in front of me, Fiji. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood, skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and a deeper in debt. Say, Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. Picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. Loaded 16 tons of number nine coal. Hello. He had fun. Nice work. Your valor shines as brightly as the frozen sun. Wait for it. Mr. Torpedoes. He still had HE loaded and he gets the pause and say he gets the kill. He's about to eat the corpse. Unless he somehow misses. He didn't miss. Some people say it may. The Unauthorized Autobiography of Kim Jong-il by Michael Malice. That sounds like a fascinating tale of absolutely nothing. Alright, Kim Jong-il was his father, right? I'm thinking of Kim Jong-un. Battleship gonna die, probably. Is America gonna die? How am I seeing a battleship at 23 kilometers? Am I not ru Am I running the fucking, uh... Why the hell do I have the RGA mod on my fucking constellation? Am I crazy? Why the hell would I be riding, running a fucking RGA mod on my constellation? Tier 7 ranked, maybe? Maybe I forgot to change it back. It's so weird seeing people that far away. Goodbye, Enalt. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Big Seven no chikara o mita. Fighting and trouble are my middle name. Are 
Are we actually going to get a chance to utilize our reload? That's probably going to miss. We finally got a fight that might last longer than one shot. to break it to you, Key, but you're not exactly scary. Well, Spartan, he's got torpedo. off if he gets that turn off. I ain't gonna lie. That could have been bad. Oh, look! It's Bismarck. Happy birthday, you piece of trash. <gasps> How dare you say such things about such a ship. You American dog. It's fine. It's just a Bismarck. Everybody beats up on the Bismarck. It's literally historically accurate. Literally historically accurate. Constellation has 16 inch guns. They are, um, the 16 inch Colorado guns. So 45 caliber. Same guns you get on uh, Colorado, North Carolina, Alabama, Massachusetts. Though it has battle cruiser accuracy rather than normal accuracy for uh, battleships. So it has ridiculously accurate guns. And a good reload, because it's only a twin gun for every kill. Like Constellation was the uh, Lexington class battle cruiser design. That, uh, turned into the Lexington aircraft carrier because the design didn't fulfill the uh, or didn't meet the requirements of the Washington Naval Treaty. Break his guns. I have never feared a Bismarck, and I'm not going to start today. Doesn't matter what ship I'm in, I will never fear a Bismarck.
中だ無事でよかった Surely between those two they can kill that battleship or that fucking carrier, right? He's gonna be out of my range. Their battleship was chasing our fucking carrier because our carrier just stayed there and watched them get closer and closer. Same thing for their carrier, but... He turned out. Damn it! Sadness ensues. Carrier gets his high caliber. I'm gonna regret not shooting that fucking carrier, am I? So what the fuck is taking this godforsaken ship so long to capture this base? Ooh, that was a little too close. That was almost tragedy. Are you serious? This guy's not gonna go after the fucking carrier? Terrapits! Why the fuck would he not go after the carrier? Hello? You're not going to outrun him, so you might as well just go murder him. <laughs> Did he not see the carrier? He knows exactly where the carrier's at. Oh my god, we're going to lose the game. I got to go. I got to go murder something. Why? Why do I have to put up with these people? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta go defend this cap. I'm not gonna be able to get back and kill the fuck. We're not gonna win. I think we just lose. Dude, why the fuck would you not go kill the carrier? You were right there! All you had to do is go out that way. You'd spot him in no time. Why are you even sailing to the B cap right now? Absolutely fucking dense, man. Fucking leave it to a German battleship captain to fuck everything up. Every time. What up, Yash? Appreciate you dropping in. Uh, play the Ohio. I already played the Ohio and the Montana and all that. Sorry. Legendary tier's pretty fucking dead at the moment. God dang it. Lose the fucking game on a fucking count of two battleships that can't kill a fucking carrier. I hate this shit, dude. Why would a Turpitz run away from a fucking carrier? He's full health, too. It's not like he was low health and he's just trying to survive. Dude's just fucking dumb. I'm sorry. Like, he just straight up ran away from a carrier. I already had the other cap, so there was no reason for him to go there. He literally just ran away from a fucking carrier in a turpitz. And you wonder why I hate on fucking German battleships. <laughs> Have I gotten any Azure Lane ships? Uh, not recently. I got commanders. Didn't get ships. God, that's frustrating to lose a game like that. Like, I got into the cap to try to give us the cap, and then they just fucking, like, sail away. Is it... Who fucking runs from a carrier when they're full health in a battleship? Who the fuck runs away from a carrier?
Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna... Wonder if we can have fun in the Duncan. Wait, didn't we fuck up our entire build? Let me just double check. No, we're fine. We're fine. Play Plymouth? That's a ship I haven't played in a while. They're good players, just crappy teammates. Psh. <sighs> have a good night, Jess. Appreciate you dropping in. Hope you have a great, great night and get some, uh, get some rest. Lord, oh, oh my Lanta! Can we not have multiple destroyer games? And it's the same fucking division. Damn it! And I get two Jaegers. Which I can assure you is not going to be beneficial to my team. <sighs> yes, I took the last stream down. What you don't like? You don't like my uh, my camo, my pumpkin camo? What's not to like about my pumpkin camo? Doesn't it fit in with the ocean? I mean, let's be honest. Like, the purpose of a camo is to protect you, right? It, it, keeps people, it breaks up the, like, silhouette of your ship. I feel like it breaks up the silhouette of the ship pretty well. I'm already spotted because they have fucking destroyers spawn directly across from me and I get two stupid ass fucking uh, Jaegers that are just going to sail across to the middle and do nothing. They'll dump all of their torpedoes in the exact same fucking quadrant. Two fucking Jaegers both going to use their reload booster and send 40 torpedoes or no, it would be 48 torpedoes at the exact same target through the same small gap and every one of them will fucking miss. Hello. Not gonna lie, that was pretty funny. Dude's like, I'm gonna go around and fuck with Spartan. No, you ain't. And the best part is, not only did I, like, th those torpedoes beat me to it, but my torpedo was right there too, because I anticipated the same thing. Like, this little turret's gonna come around the corner and try to fuck with it. So we already know. Like, we know that this Neptune is fully going to commit to this. Are you fucking kidding me? I just wonder where the rest of his team is. Did they all run away? I can't believe those two Jaegers with all of their torpedoes and their reload boosters for their torpedoes aren't keeping these fucking people at bay that's in the cap. What a shocker. Okay, he definitely hit something. Say, that's an interesting fucking smoke screen. I'm gonna lie, he's kind of fucking with my plans. Oh, now there's a 
fucking Bismarck still here too? these guys out here, huh? These guys have been real fucking useful out here. Look at them all. Four ships, two destroyers, all the torpedoes you could ever ask for, just sitting here doing circles, holding hands, singing Kumbaya. <laughs> uh, Neptune comes out, torps me while I'm trying to fend off the one destroyer that's in the cap that should have been getting fucking dealt with by everybody anyway. But everybody's too fucking afraid to actually do their goddamn jobs in this fucking game. So leave it to the fucking Duncan to push up like a fucking madman and drive everybody out of their fucking cap. Because everybody else just wants to sit there and do circles and launch torpedoes. I'm in a Jaeger, look at me. I'll just sit here and launch torpedoes over and over again. Oh, we're not hitting anything? Oh, let's just keep doing it. I'm sure it'll work eventually. Fucking stupid. Called it too. Like, I knew what they were going to do. It's fucking obvious. Every fucking division of destroyer players ever has been completely fucking useless. Let's go play the Jaeger. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I knew it was coming. I, I just try to get rid of the destroyer because at the end of the day, a Neptune is a Neptune. It can fucking get taken out at any time. So if we can hit the Bismarck on the way in, get the destroyer dislodged out of there, finish him off preferably if we can, and we did our job. Getting rid of a gunboat that's fully capable of neutering the two Jaegers. If the Jaegers would actually get off their fucking asses and do something useful instead of just doing circles. Waiting for their torps to reload. Like, you'd think... Oh, fuck me, game! Why is it that I can't get a fucking game where I get to be the destroyer versus 30, ba 30 battleships? Why is that not a thing? Why is it every fucking time I get in a destroyer, it's 20 fucking destroyers? Oh, look, it's the same fucking people! They change tiers again. I go to legendary tier, they go to legendary tier. I go to tier, tier eight, they go to tier eight. I go to tier seven, they're in tier seven. Fucking hell, man. Jaeger can absolutely be useful. Just not played like those two jing uh, dinguses did. Like, fuck me, dude. The Jaeger has a fucking place in the game. It's actually decent if it's played in the way it's supposed to be played. But well, the problem is, nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. They would rather just go, ooh, my torps reload every minute. Let me just dump all my torps, reload, sit here, do a circle, come back, reload, drop the torps, reload booster, drop the torps. It's like, fucking move around, try to capture a base, do something fucking useful for the team. Sitting here doing the fucking circle for the entirety of the match is just fucking stupid. Like, oh, you hit five torpedoes at some point, you've launched 800 of them. Torps do no damage. I owe you one. It's got good concealment. You can spot for your team. You can do you can do work for this thing. The problem is everybody is so like hell-bent on just using the torps for for like reload boosting and, and the memes of just dropping torps given that I haven't spotted anything I'm going to assume that the thing that's there is the two destroyers that are in a division Yeah. One destroyer's in Bravo, the other destroyer's... Yep. 
God, why do I have to run into the fucking island when I'm not even touching the island game? Surely that battleship sees that and is gonna get out of the way, right? Surely. Also called it. Battleship definitely did not get out the way. Fuck. And an anchorage. Dude, I am so fucked. Like, why the fuck did it a Cleveland decide to come into this fucking cap? I didn't even get to use my reload booster. Why the fuck did a Cleveland come in here, man? And of course, two destroyers sitting there opening fire on me this whole time and neither, none of my teammates can do anything. These guys are too busy sitting back here doing God knows what the fuck. Balti and an Anchorage just sitting here. Anchorage is just parked broadside because that's what you do in an Anchorage. Their entire team can throw themselves at me because my entire team is too busy fucking backline bettying over here to fucking Baltimore. Lord have mercy, dude. You just can't make it up. Like, it never fucking fails. Like, no matter what fucking ship I get in, I'm going to be countered every fucking time. And every time, my team is going to be sitting there watching with their thumbs up their asses. And they just don't do anything. They just sit there in the back fucking watching everything happen. I get yellow rushed by a fucking Cleveland while I'm trying to help get rid of the fucking two destroyers that are in the middle cap. Because God knows we have two fucking heavy cruisers right there. One of which has a radar. The other one has 12 fucking guns. Neither of them which are actually trying to fucking counter a destroyer whatsoever. Despite there being two destroyers right in front of their face. And a Cleveland that they could murder. Like what more do you... What, what is the decision making? There isn't one. There's just a bunch of fucking dummies who don't know what the fuck they're doing. Nobody. They don't even try. They just stay where they spawn and they hope for the best. Or they run all the way across the map because the grass is greener over there. They don't know what's over there. They just know it's better. <laughs> oh, it's definitely intentional that the fucking sonar and radar goes through islands. It makes no fucking sense, but it's definitely intentional. <laughs> Just fucking annoying, man. Like, you got the people that can fucking counter the shit, and nobody even tries. They just sit in their fucking spawn, and they wait for somebody to carry them to a victory because they don't know how to create one themselves. None of them. I can't even overmatch that. I'd be better off shooting at the fucking Colorado than shooting this faulty. We're gonna aim high, we're gonna go the distance, we're gonna fucking utilize the secondaries to do what the secondaries do. Faulty shooting AG because reasons. We have the Colorado shooting AG as well. 
Alarme de incêndio. Contra torpedeiro inimigo detectado. Superstructure. All my shells miss because of course they do. He eats the torpedoes because he doesn't have any survival instinct. In fact, there's a fucking smoke screen and he's in a radar cruiser. Oh, boys. It does make you brain dead. by that guy all the way to the fuck over there. Still spotted. What the EVs are at Benson, Udaloy, Akazuki. So it's either the Udaloy or Akazuki. Will the cruiser actually help me get rid of the destroyer? Hello, Akazuki. He goes dark. We know he's got a reload booster, so we're not gonna fucking shoot our guns. the fucking Why would a Rochester try to counter the destroyer that he knows is here? It's not like a Rochester can counter a destroyer, right? It's just a Balti with smoke. Can't expect him to actually counter a destroyer. shooting fucking AG. Oh my god. Five overbeds on a Colorado shooting waterline with 15 inch guns. Spread torpedoes. The guns on the other side, and maybe my fucking teammates will actually try to counter the destroyer. Breaks my turret. Corre principal com dano crítico. My Fletcher died. How the fuck did my Fletcher just die? You got to be fucking kidding me! Where do these people fucking learn to play? Like seriously. How do you fucking even bother trying to fucking play if you can't even fucking do basic shit? I, 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 I give up. I just, I, I want to fucking give up. 
Is there another game out here that people are willing to watch me play? Lord have mercy. I've had about enough of this shit. This is fucking pathetic. Cruisers that won't counter fucking destroyers. Destroyers that fucking YOLO and die without doing any fucking thing useful. I'm gonna get fucking torped because I'm trying to fucking get around this godforsaken island. Because I'm not chasing people off the fucking map. My cruiser's not gonna fucking do anything. Only there was something on my team that could counter a fucking destroyer when they're sitting in their fucking smokescreen waiting to die. Like a gunboat or a fucking cruiser. that I'm turning enough. Probably gonna take one. On the belt. Half my health gone. Nós fomos atingidos no casco. Estamos inundando rapidamente. He literally shoots over the top of a broadside fucking cruiser just to shoot me. Resolvido, Colorado's been useful so far. And I shatter every fucking shell on a fucking Hamagi. Rochester still broadside to the guy. He actually shot at him this time. Capturing bases is overrated, I guess. You know? Leave it to the guy who's sailing around at like 20 knots trying to fucking get to the place where he can capture the base. Doing the things that you need to do to try to win is just fucking overrated in this game. Nobody tries to do it. Nobody. This guy will follow me out to the edge. The other guy will follow me out to the edge. Neither of them actually participate in the fucking battle, and then they just throw the game. He, he won't counter the destroyer. He won't try to fucking counter the fucking... He won't try to capture a base. Six minutes left in the match, and I've done nothing but fucking sail around waiting to die. Akazuki's gonna kill our fucking Colorado because Colorado's gonna sail in between the gap and the island to get fucking yeeted. I citadeled a fucking Gnizeno by shooting at the superstructure. How? Dude, please explain to me how citadels work in this fucking game because I, I haven't figured it out yet. Second torpedo. Perma plus, so Rochester dies after accomplishing exactly nothing. Oh, never mind. He killed the Gnizeno. He's clearly better than me. And he dies right in front of me. It's time to stop me from being able to go anywhere, which is going to make me even more susceptible to the torpedoes of the fucking destroyer. Just three destroyers versus me, I'm sure I got this.
for these people man. They, it's just nobody has any fucking decision making skills in this game they're all about as useless as possible like this guy gets higher up on the team because he kills a fucking colorado with torpedoes but gives up his life despite the fact that there were other much better plays he could be making other than just yellowing and dying and this guy of course all the way at the bottom of the team shocker only person lower than him is the Colorado that followed me all the way out to the edge and then turned around and came back just to do nothing. Ah, it's just fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's only so much you can do, guys. <laughs> it's only so much you can do. You just sit there and watch everybody throw away their fucking ships and do nothing. Major Sedge. Major Sedge. Yeah, I know that shots can drop through the deck, but some of the shots that drop through the deck and score citadels don't make any fucking sense. Like, I can drop a shot through the deck at 15 or 18 kilometers. They don't do fucking shit. I can drop a shot through the deck by shooting at the superstructure. It's sub 10 kilometers, and somehow it gets enough arc to go through the deck in Citadel. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And once again, four more, four more destroyers. Posições de combate. Take up Fortnite. Fuck that shit. I'm too old for that shit. I tried getting back into Call of Duty last year, remember? I learned real quick that that shit sucks. I don't, I don't have the fucking fast twitch muscles anymore for that shit. Yeah, clearly. It wouldn't be the first time. You guys remember the, the old days when you could like literally just shoot the guns on fucking battleships and keep doing ma max damage? You just get full pins on the battleships, uh, guns the whole time. What's my ideal team composition? Um, two destroyers, two cruisers, and five battleships. That gives everybody spotting. You should have one destroyer on one side of the map, one destroyer on the other side of the map, one cruiser on either side of the map to assist with DPM, and then you have the battleships strewn up between all three spawns. That way, the destroyers can't just spawn right fucking next to each other, so that they're at least doing something for their side of the map, whether it be spotting or what have you. from getting fucking yeeted. No need to fire my guns there. Z-23 is terrified of the USS Kid, even though Z-23 has extended range sonar and more health. 150 mil guns. The slow ass torpedoes get me. And they got the blood. Nós fomos atingidos no casco. Estamos inundando rapidamente. Just having a great 
great time. Problema resolvido, senhor. Survives the initial engagement and runs Cruzador around to the other side of the All because our fucking destroyer is too afraid to get in a gunfight with a gunfighting fucking destroyer. Problema resolvido, senhor. The first thought on every fucking. Di Look at what our destroyer is doing right now. Tell me what his fucking thought process is. Uh, his torch tubes out, maybe? Question mark. Preferably before he fucking uses them. Left the cat. Gami just dev struck a fucking North Carolina. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Double fire kills Ganizano? Question mark. Get back! Enemies are capturing the base with a battleship and two destroyers right next to it, so only leaves so many positions he could be. He's right at the back of the camp. Oh, you've got to fucking be kidding me. Wasn't even spotted, was I? That was almost the greatest fucking pork drop I've ever seen a fucking Ganizano do in my life. It was so delayed. Was I spotted while that guy was still fucking burning to death? Because I don't think I was. I think he just shit out the fucking torpedoes on his way out and he about fucking got my ass. Okay, Amagi's there, so go ahead and show yourself, you little turd blossom. I know you're out here. All the way the fuck over there. Nossa over equipe there. tomou a liderança. Alarme de incêndio. I think it's got six kilometer torpedoes on the moonship. Resolvido, senhor. Ah, 
bless America. Hit the fucking target. That fucking Admiral Hipper over here. Look, I can fuck it. Oh, fuck you. You gotta be fucking good. Of course, their fucking little turf lost and fucking destroyer comes back to. I wouldn't eat. I thought Hipper said he quit fucking playing warships. Alarm is in Seju! What's wrong, you little turd waffles? Running away isn't helping you. Shocker. wrong you wanted this remember he's gonna guarantee get a double fire here Which way is he going to turn at the border? Is he going left to get away from me? Or is he coming back? Sure looks like he's hinting at going left. Back towards me. Do we get the kill? All that running. And he gets away with it. God dang it. Oh my god. You just the whole fucking package, ain't you? It's the whole package, man. Just run to the border, fucking border, hump off that shit. Turn back the other way now. Fortunately, his engine's damaged, so I should still hit him here. But I only get one. Gonna get to kill me? Still alive. Still alive. I win, dick. All that running. Fucking running away. What did it get you? A loss. Bottom of your team. Eh, I guess he didn't get bottom. He got fourth. And I survive. Little turd waffles. I hate that shit. Uh, do we try the do we try the Jaeger again? We didn't get a chance to really showcase it considering we just got yellow rushed by Cleveland hydroing us for the, the two destroyers in a division behind me. Napoli B is just a skin. Oh. Good morning, Amir. Oh, are you just saying like it's it's an actual ship, but it's just a reskin, yes. Wargaming likes to do that. Fucking carrier game too it's like oh you you complained that you had four destroyers here's a carrier game have fun i 
I would turn off the AAA, but this thing doesn't have it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's on or off anyway. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit more interesting, Flame. Kind of boring, though, with everybody running away like little turd burglars. And then the Amagi, like, if the Amagi had come out, I would have got more damage. I would have ended up dying that match, but I would have got more damage. Which would have made the game a little bit more entertaining for me. Carriers on the left side, destroyers on the left side. I'll go right and try to spot for the team on that side. If I remember correctly, though, they spawned the enemy carrier like straight off my bow, the direction I'm headed, I think. Yeah. Fantastic. be very bad for my health. Doładowanie silnika wyłączone. fucking air detectability on this thing. The dude was within two kilometers. He almost had a guaranteed fucking acquisition on me with his planes and couldn't see me. Does he get set on fire here? Do I dare go for the permafire? Go for the permafire. It either happens or it doesn't. goes down to Lexington Torp, so. Fortunate. Plane? How is it still spotting me? The dude didn't have any fucking planes left. I had to wait for him to go away before I could drop those torps. I didn't want him to spot the torps with my, or yeah, spot the torps with his planes.
pea shooters that don't have Fantastic agility. Okay, Loggy turned and ran. I'm gonna go in and grab the cap for A. Just a random Amalfi all the way out there, too. Grab this cap. <sighs> I know it seems like I haven't done anything in this one, but I've gone in, I tried to uh, get B, but I got rushed by a Flounder, so I had to drop out. I've hit both the Amagi and you little fucker! You fuck off! Huh? You wanna fuck right off? Little turn wobble? Look fucking dodging those sunshine. Oh my god, he's gonna dodge them. I have to fucking use this goddamn reload booster on this fucking Kagero. I'll do it. Oh no, he launched him forward. He launched him forward! Oh my god. God fuck off! Little fucking bitch! And why the fuck is there always a cruiser right there and they can't shoot a fucking destroyer? Like, how many times do I have to spot the little bastard? I can't believe he dodged all those fucking torps, dude. I, I would love to have seen his perspective, because I know damn well that I spaced those torps out in, like, a decent fucking pattern to try to stop him from going left and right. Like, I covered the inside, he was turning out, so I covered the outside, and then I kind of, like, went between the two. So, like, he had to have gotten extremely fucking lucky to get through that shit. And I knew I was going to kill him when he came after me. I'm going to use the fucking reload booster, because fuck that shit. But I have a Rochester right there, man. Rochester sitting in a fucking smoke screen. The destroyer's spotted, and he doesn't even fucking bother killing the motherfucker. Another perfect example of a fucking cruiser who just doesn't bother trying. He's so busy shooting at the battleship 14 kilometers away that he doesn't give a fuck that I'm over here spotting the destroyer that's trying to kill him. Fucking dumb, dude. Again, am I wrong that the Rochester is just a Baltimore with smoke? Am I, it is a Baltimore, right? Like, it's got fucking fast-firing American or, or, like, high explosive. Like, it's, it's good. 203 millimeter. Like, pretty sure. Dr. House, thank you for the uh, newest membership, my dude. I know it says that you've been... You've got your two-month badge, I think. So, thank you. Harbin? Eh. It's always the people that I try to help that just are not bothered by trying to, like, do their fucking shit. Like... You go out there, you spot the destroyer, you force him out of his game. I try to fucking rotate back and get into the fucking cap. He keeps coming after me. I keep him spotted, and the fucking cruiser can't do a damn thing. Just sits there and watches. Let's go full, full reload build fucking Jean Burt. Why is the reload 19 seconds? It doesn't make any sense. Am I not running the reload booster? I'm definitely running the reload booster. Why is my reload so bad? I know damn well I've had my fucking reload on this thing down to like 17 seconds. Where am I fucking up? Is it, is it Dunkirk? It's one of these motherfuckers has it. Oh, I could go Brawler if I go Dunkirk. That would get it down. We still have Megalomania. We got Master Mechanic for the extra heals. We 
go Ding Ru Chang. See, I hate trying to go fucking brawler build. But if I just swap to you, that puts my reload still at 19.6 seconds. Whereas this puts my reload at 19 because it's a slightly higher level. I don't want to go full, I don't want to go fucking brawler, man. Brawler sucks in regular, because you just miss out on so much potential shots. But I could have swore Jean Bart had a faster reload with the Robert Jajard build. Maybe it was Emile Zaprat that I was using that got the fast one, but again, that would still be the brawler build, so that wouldn't do me any good either way. Meh, fuck it. 19 seconds is still fine for a base reload. Check the boosters. I don't think there's any booster like that increases your reload. This gives you extra range and movement speed and consumable cooldown time. But there's nothing that gives you like faster reload. What's my range currently? 18.9, that's plenty. I don't need any longer. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. What up, Jose? Can someone donate so he will play Zeton? I just played Zeton not that long ago in a video, didn't I? Didn't I? I'm pretty confident I just played Zeton in a video not that long ago. Didn't we do it when we did the, um, is it still good in uh, 2024 or is it good in 2024? Wasn't it part of that series? I think it was. Oh, uh, what up, Payne? Yeah, you'll have to check it out. I'm fairly confident it was part of that, uh, is it okay in the, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm not crazy. I was like, I'm pretty confident I just played the Zeton not that long ago. Okay, so we got two cruisers on the right, so I will likely head towards the right and try to support that side if I can. Two destroyers in the lobby, two cruisers in the lobby. I know this will get us uh, two shots with our fucking main battery reload booster, I believe. The, Pro the problem, of course, is that you have no accuracy, and when you fire, fire the guns, you're more likely to get a goddamn shotgun because it's, you know, French. That button. Start heading towards the right. I'm gonna get spotted. Iowa on the left. Maggie's bowing in the middle. Iowa Brandenburg. So we know where three of the battleships are, so that leaves two unaccounted for. I'm spotted, so that's probably a destroyer or cruiser. That's Richelieu, so it's definitely a destroyer.
chance here. being hunted by the fucking destroyer right now. I feel like I am. I feel like the destroyer just came back around and it's coming in for a while. Nice try, Yago. Ooh, that's, a, that's a juicy turn, Mr. Iowa. Remember, you wanted my attention. booster for now. away. He lives to be a pain in my ass for a little longer. Congress is still alive. Iowa's dead. There's a random battleship, either in Iowa or... I think it's in Iowa, right? No, it's a random river. Okay. Still have that destroyer somewhere nearby, too, to think about. And it's in the cap. Can we turn the ship? God, I hate that. I hate that so fucking much. I'm sitting there holding the button to turn. I'm like, why am I not turning? You're not turning because the game is fucking stupid and it doesn't understand that if you go into a menu and you're still holding the button, that the button should still work even though you've left the fucking menu. Do not let the enemy take Asian. the area. Do not let the enemy take that area. I had a gunboat. Boost the motor activated. We're going to need this. Oh my god. Needle. Enemy 
enemy didn't capture the base. Did he beach? He did not beach. Problème résolu, chef. On a coulé un destroyer ennemi. Gotta have teammates, man. Where the fuck is my team? <laughs> fuck me, man. Jesus. All right, don't let them take that area. We're just gonna sit over here with our thumb up our ass while you fight their entire fucking team solo. Thanks, fellas. You're welcome. Jesus, God. Don't let them take that area, fellas. Good Lord. What is Shadow spamming? Can we have a match in the main? I'll give you a match in the main. Even though I played main during the, the ranked battles earlier. You may not have been here for that. I'll fucking show it. Concentrate fire on that enemy warship. Surely my team can fucking take this right? like, I like how they're like, don't let them take that area. Now they're just going to fucking let them take that area. <laughs> right? So all that I just did is for nothing. They're just going to let them grab the fucking area. Radar cruiser, Azuma. They're just going to let them take the area. Yes, I finished rank pain. Watch this. Hey guys! Hey, hey, hey guys! Don't let them take the area! We didn't want you guys to like scratch your ship all the way back in the back of the map, would we? I'm glad you guys could tell me not to let them take the area and then just sit behind the island and watch. La bataille se termine dans cinq minutes. Appreciate it, fellas. I always find it uh, enthralling. People tell me to do something and then just run away to the back corner of the map in a full health Azuma. You know, Azuma's terrified of a Brandenburg. Uh, we lose this match, too. That's the best part. Like, we're legitimately going to lose this match. Look at this! The Kronstadt moves forward! He's got a radar! Look at him go! He's got HE loaded too! Oh my god, to what do we owe the honor of watching a teammate actually use a ship? Can he do it? Oh, he's requesting fire on the destroyer! Okay, that checks out. And he eats the torpedoes because, you know, broadside is best side half his hit points. I would have never guessed that torpedo would have been coming, right? Just a fucking destroyer spotted while you're yellowing out there broadside. Can the Azuma kill the Brandenburg? He's burning him down like a true champ while kiting to the back of the map in a super cruiser. The Brandenburg's scaring him so much by shooting HE at him. Also, the destroyer's gonna get into the A cap. Brandenburg puts out the fire, goes dark. Does he get the fire? He does not. Oh, but Brandenburg decides to fire his guns instead of just grabbing the cap, but they are denying us all points currently. So it doesn't really matter. 
They're about to take the lead in points while our Kronstadt and our, our fucking Vanguard are over here doing what they're doing. Let me guess, neither of these guys will jump in the cap to stop them from getting points. They're just going to sit there, bow in right outside the cap. Again, terrified to death that that Richelieu might actually shoot your supercruiser. Meanwhile, the enemy has grabbed all the caps. They got one of them. Did the enemy throw this away? They still have the lead. They have all the caps. There's a minute left. Will the Azuma actually get the kill on the battleship and win us the game? This battleship has decided that uh, he now needs to push out and attack the other two ships as well. He's broadside to the Kronstadt. If Kronstadt has AP, this could be an easy, easy kill for him. But he's most likely shooting HE, because that's all anybody knows how to use in this godforsaken game. Azuma still hellbent on using HE instead of loading up that fantastic AP that he has. Kronstadt be beaching himself over and over again, waiting for the torpedoes to arrive from the angry smoke screen that's spamming HE back at him. There's the radar. Destroyer gets spotted running away. Battleship still charging. Kronstadt's about to go down. So even if we do manage to kill the battleship, we still lose because Mr. Do Not Let Them Take the Cap is now dead. And they still haven't killed this guy because nobody understands what the fuck armor piercing is in this game. Three fucking ships dedicated to shooting HE at one fucking battleship and none of them could kill him. I wonder why. It's almost like high explosive is stupid fucking tactic. Learn to use AP, especially if somebody's fucking broadside to you. It's a lot harder to heal back armor piercing damage than it is HE damage. Fucking unbelievable. Look, he got top of the team. He's clearly better than me. He got a confederate, too. I mean, don't let him take the cap, guys. <laughs> don't let him take the cap. Let's take all three of our ships that are full health. Stay in the one side. Let the, let the team beat the fuck out of our battleship that we told not to let them take the cap, who's throwing himself away to get the destroyer off the board. Give our team a fucking fighting chance of winning. And then we'll just spam HE until the end of the game. Because that's how you play the game, folks. Simple as that. Just just shoot HE. Don't ever learn to fucking use AP. It's not worth it. The only thing you should ever shoot in this game is HE. Clearly. Clearly. I don't know what you guys are talking about with SPED and Special Ed. Like, knock it off, guys. Knock it off. That's not cool. People in special ed don't have the choice. These people are just dumb. Not the people in special ed. So, there's big difference. Yeah, never, never load armor piercing in this game. Just shoot nothing but HE. I 
I don't understand, man. Like, I, I don't know what's so fucking hard to, to figure out. Like, why nobody fucking uses armor General piercing in this game. Because it's really so fucking good. But nobody does it. There's a time and a place for HE. But to constantly spam HE, unless you're in a fucking conqueror or something like that, you should be using fucking multiple ammo types or AP most of them. of people that just don't don't understand how to fucking use armor piercing is mind-boggling if that azuma had actually played instead of running to the back corner of the map spamming ag we win that match but he ran away and he spammed ag because azuma when i can show you how many how many games have i showed you guys in the fucking azuma how many times do i load ag in the azuma almost never the ap on that ship is stupid good like legitimately stupid good if I get spotted here he's gonna pop up right over here but I shouldn't get spotted because he's most likely over here <sighs> Ruprecht that's yet him in the chat Enemy force on the horizon. another carrier game too get special ed i don't know when i was in school special ed was like reserved for uh special needs students i don't know what it is nowadays I know there's a battleship there. I know there's a destroyer there. We also have a radar cruiser right here that's... Look at this fucking... What are you doing? I remind you that we have a radar cruiser so we come back to the fucking map. Oh, now he radars. As soon as I fucking fire. Okay, Jaeger's there. not lob that at all. Ruprecht comes around the corner broadside. Main deletes him. No. Main works. Try to discourage him. Ruprex should have four or eight torpedoes hitting the fucking main. Main survives. survived the first attack from the fucking group break. Starting to ship.
So we push these guys out of the way so they're not gonna fucking be useful for their team. Problem solved, so we definitely need to get rid of this fucking fire alarm! We can. He's gonna turn out aim high, like the Air Force. He does in fact turn out, which we already planned for. We get one hit for no damage. Despite him doing exactly what I said he was going to do, I get zero damage. Turned in. Clink, clink, mother trucker. Main turret critically damaged. Actually, not gonna put out this double fire. I was gonna say it should be about to burn out. We got a heal. We get another heal before the end of this battle, so should be okay. We gotta get a fire here. I'll give him a fire game. Gets caught. Did they get him? Dude doesn't seem to be dodging anybody else. He just wants to dodge me for some reason. Guy's far enough away I shouldn't have to worry about his torps because I'm fairly confident his torps only have like 12 kilometers of range. So we're just going to turn away from him. See if we can get a crossfire on these battleships. If only we had somebody with like railgun fucking cannons that could have just annihilated that petro or annihilated that little heard is he gonna shoot at me our victory is in sight clearly within 14 kilometers now i would imagine he shoots when he goes behind the island our team is looking like they're about to fucking throw he did exactly what i expected him to do and he should die for it but the game says fuck you because, you know, reasons. That guy should be dead right now and everybody knows it. I even called it. I like, knew what he was going to do. Like, no, you, you know exactly how these people think. Like, they don't think. They just fucking act. He is dead. Enemy cruiser destroyed. They just can't help themselves, man. I must simply fire my guns. Will it lead to my imminent demise? Of course it will. But I must fire my guns. I was in a position I can't shoot at the moment. It's unfortunate. Alabama, on the other hand. Petro slaps him, and then so did I. Hopefully my shells get there before whoever shells those are. Nope. Kansas' shells get there first. How the fuck does the Kansas' shells beat mine? I got 50 caliber guns. We're not that much Our further apart from one another. He's only got 45 caliber guns. That's bullshit. Miss all the shots you don't take, boys. Oh my god, he about got killed by the carrier. Hi! We destroyed an enemy battleship. ends in five minutes. Game over. <sighs> 
What a game. All right, that's tier eight for you. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get one more game to end on. What should I play? We haven't played the Amagi in a while. Arthas is Japanese, isn't he? Where am I going? Let me back this way. Alright, let's go. You've been to work and come back? Nice. Hope you had a good night at work. Yeah, Maine is literally just Montana with two guns less. Is ranked worth it for the rewards? No. But if you like a challenge... Might as well. Oh, great. It's these guys again. At least they're on the enemy team this time. Yetum's on my team. Horny Alf is on my team. in the match and they spawn them right next to one another. All stations, proceed to capture that area. I'm telling you, man, they should just spawn the destroyers to capture that area. on opposite flanks. Just one on the left, one on the right. The middle doesn't need a fucking destroyer. the guy on the left is coming to the right the guy in the middle is sitting in still because spawning in is hard for some people oh I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. See me running through that open door. I believe I can fly. It's either a Jaeger or a Cogro.
Nagasaki's such a good ship, man. It's a shame people don't use this ship better. Yes, it can be trolly, but boy, is she good. We'll go over the uh, deck and superstructure here. Maybe the back. Yep, we go. Okay, Jaeger's over there. That means that this is actually a cargo. I know. Okay, Kagura's all the way the fuck over there. I didn't see that coming. Goodbye, Mr. Dodge and Weave. Still got two destroyers nearby. One has a reload booster, the other one has Japanese torpedoes, and potentially a reload booster. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Still got Arthas button when we need it. All stations, proceed to capture that area. Okay, one DD like goes down, that's the Kagero, that's pretty huge. Veneto's there. Down goes our fucking Kagero to the Fletcher. That's less than ideal. I'm terrified that these guys are going to get me torped because I can't fucking maneuver my ship. I would love to go through there, but yeah, as I say, I'm, I'm expecting corpse from the fucking Jaeger on my front. Take one, take two, There's the reload button. God, this shit is so fucking good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> when this thing behaves, it is hilarious. again forcing this destroyer to go as far away from everybody as possible forever make a big turn get ready to shoot the fucking veneto again the smoke should run out he should get spotted again or he'll fire yeah, there's the fire Gotta shoot your guns, don't you? Just gotta shoot your guns. Uh, shouldn't be a flood. It's right on the torque protection. We good. Oh, beautiful game in the Amagi, man. I'm telling you. What time do the patch notes come out? Patch notes are usually released at around 4 a.m., I believe. Either 4 or 5. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the patch notes early, so I'll have to do the video the old-fashioned way, which is why I'm not that worried about getting off here and going to bed right away. Balti goes down. I was still alive. Nope, I lied. I would die. Then heal up. I 
I would assume that he's kind of going back trying to get those guys because the last two salvos were headed in that direction. But he might see his opportunity to come after me because I'm all by myself. We'll see. If he does, I should be able to kill him with one shot with Arthas, even with AP. Thank God for widespread torpedoes, am I right? Also gives me a pretty good idea just how far away he is. He's launching these from pretty far. So this guy is not running twist and track or perceptive because he has no idea where the guy's at. But at least he's not going back around. So I was afraid that he was actually reversing to go back and get my broadside. idea how much health that cruiser's got over there, but... Yeah, he's, he's further out there. He's gonna get those battleships. Okay, Agile and Chapayev actually wins his side. So I gotta go try to put myself in position to shoot him, as well as try to hit the uh, little turret burglar. Remember, Akazuki's not really chasing anybody down either, because not only does he not have the Twisted Tracker Perceptive, obviously, but he also is not running, uh, he's not fast. Akazuki's like, what, 34 knots top speed? Pretty slow destroyer. He's still within 14 kilometers, though, because he's still spotting me. been a long match man considering how much I just completely stomp I like steamrolled their their team expect Chappie to start shooting at me at any moment. Please. Okay, he's gonna change course. Just wait. He'll open up the angle. This his fucking superstructure and see how he likes that. Game's almost over anyway, so no reason to hold back now. Go right through the bow. Shoot him, you little turds. Just enough. 
minute and a half will he show himself to try to yellow tort me to end the game oh he went back the other way sadness just hope he come out and play with me the needle? No. God dang it. You can hope, right? I was gonna say, can't, you, you can't miss at that range, right? <laughs> Come on. Alright, well, we did at least get a nice little uh, 200k game to end the stream on, so that's not bad. Two hundred and one, top of the leaderboard, thirty three hundred sixty five base XP. Not too shabby, folks. But uh, that's gonna probably wrap up this stream. It's been a fun one. Surprisingly, considering how bad everything went in that first stream, this stream's been pretty nice. I can't really complain. There've been some pretty sus teammates, but that's normal. Uh, yeah, not a bad way to not a bad way to wrap it up, man. I'm telling you. Don't ever sleep on the Amagi, man. Because when you do, that motherfucker will just beat your ass. That is a nasty, nasty battleship. Make no mistake. Look at her. Good looking ship, too, man. I love this design of ship. It's got so many fucking casemates. It's, it's such a gorgeous ship. Hmm. But uh, let's see what we ended up with since we switched from ranked. What was our what was our service record tonight? What do you think? After we switched from ranked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. Oh. So eight and one, two, three, four, five. All right. Not the best night, but still not a bad night. Had some sus teams, but. Can't really argue. Eight and five's not that bad. But uh, we do got some crates to open up, so we might as well do that while we're thinking about it. What do you think? Will we will we get anything? We have three common crates, two commander crates, and two winter big crates. Will we get anything? 175,000 silver and some camos. That'll be a big nope. Hundred and seventy five thousand silver and some boosters. Got George Dewey, the mustache man himself. I can't think of, and then we got Ding Ru Chang again. Nice. I can't think of, uh, like George Dewey without thinking of T Bull. T Bull and his, uh, George Dewey was hilarious. Good night, CLR. Appreciate you, my dude. What's the best torpedo destroyers nation in the tech tree? Uh, Kinsey, if you're going for um, just straight torpedoes, it's going to be the Japanese, no question. Um, but the more you play, the more you realize that just having torps, uh, they, they do get better guns later in the tech tree. Um, but their guns are still going to be far inferior compared to most most other destroyers at the tier. Um, just due to raw DPM, they have terrible reloads. They hit hard, but they, they have terrible reloads. So, like, as you go up the line, um, once you get more and more comfortable with destroyers, you'll start to realize that 
wow, the Japanese have the strongest, like, most powerful torpedoes and have the concealment advantage. At the end of the day, there are plenty better boats out there. Uh, the United States is very, very nasty gunboats with good torpedoes as well. Uh, the British have a lot of utility and some uh, fun little get-out-of-jail-free card. Uh, they have a long duration radar or sonar so that you can detect torpedoes from your teammates. Uh, the ship spotting of the sonar isn't as good, but having those quick fire smokes that allow you to get out of jail free is pretty nice. So you can get some pretty aggressive pushes that you can turn around and run from pretty easily. Um, the Germans are very utilitarian. They have extended range sonar. They've got decent high, high power guns. Uh, but their DPM is pretty minimal, and their torpedoes basically are like getting scratches. Like most of the time, torpedoes on the Germans are a little bit sus. They do reload pretty quickly, though, so there's that. Um, obviously, the will be after that. The French, the French are very specialist. They can be both gunboats or torpedo boats because they do get access to main battery reload booster later on, and they have lots of of pretty powerful torpedoes but they do not have smoke screen their their concealment is decent when you use the go all out skill uh but other, other than that like the french destroyers are very much a uh pick your pick your poison sort of deal great great destroyer captains can make the most of it but the average player generally doesn't play very well in the uh french destroyers uh, Italian destroyers are abysmal above tier five. I do not recommend Italian destroyers at all. Um, once you get to tier five, you've seen all that the line has to offer. So it's not worth going any further than that. Uh, Russians are gunboats as gunboats can be. They're, they're tanky. Uh, they're kind of, kind of a meme ship in terms of their tankiness. Uh, tend to sit around 10 to 12 kilometers and spam AG, despite the fact that the Tashkent actually gets longer range torpedoes and is pretty solid uh, everywhere. They also get very, very sneaky torpedoes, which uh, a lot of people don't think about. Uh, Pan-Asian destroyers get deep water torpedoes, which have a higher uh, chance of causing flooding because torpedoes don't cause flooding all, all that often, apparently. <laughs> but they don't have the ability to hit destroyers. Only cruisers, battleships, and carriers can be hit by deep water torpedoes. Um, other than that, they tend to be more like, I, I consider the, the Pan-Asian destroyers to be kind of Japanese destroyers. They're kind of in the same wheelhouse. Um, sneaky, hard-hitting torpedoes. Other than that, that's pretty much all there is to offer like destroyer play. Like the more you get used to playing destroyers, the more you'll make out of uh, playing some of the other lines. Um, but it's always good to start with Japanese destroyers because it gives you a very good foundation to build your destroyer play off of. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. We had a pretty solid night. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will be hitting you guys up with a patch notes video shortly, uh, as soon as they release them. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Yeah, no problem, Kenzie. And like I said, being a new player, it's you're already at miles ahead of most most players in the game because you're actually coming to a, a channel and asking for help. Like most people don't even bother trying to get better at the game by asking people who already know what they're doing uh, to help them. Most people just kind of show up, play randomly and do what they do, which is fine. But if you, if you're actually trying to get better at the game and you go and you look at better players, you got like black priest is a very good uh, um, destroyer captain on YouTube. If you want to like specialize in destroyers, um, Aaron, uh, Durka, I mean, um, there, there's meta tactic. There's a lot of good players out there. So there's, there's plenty of different people that have different, uh, specialties that they play. I tend to play battleships. I tend to play pretty much everything though. I mean, if you look at my stats, my stats aren't that impressive.
Like, I have 15,500 battles played. Um, 64% win rate. With almost 13,000 battles played in standard. And most of those will be in battleships. Um, 2, 2 KDR. You can see my most played ships. My Iowa, Iowa's always going to probably be my, my most played uh, Yama, Kansas, Shima, Montana. So, I tend to play destroyers in a more play-to-win role rather than trying to get, like, a, a st stupid amount of damage, which is why I've got a really good win rate in my destroyers because I do what I do. I do what I have to do to win. But I don't have that great of stats. My stats aren't particularly amazing. They're they're better than most, but not, not elite-level stats. Which is what I've always said. I'm above average at best. So, anyway, have a great night, guys. I appreciate you guys all tuning in.